Du- Duan carried it in his wallet, man. He said he's gonna share it. <laughs> his wallet, nigga? I'm surprised you don't write it. Um, nah. You're too busy reading it. <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't Everybody got a roll. Right. It does here? You don't trust yourself? Uh, I study the history of music. I keep the records of what goes on. I don't on. know about it. I had to do it, okay? It's a difference. Yeah, after you do it, <laughs> I'm going to see what you do. I'm going to drop it. You ready to shut the door? I ain't writing no music. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I ain't writing no lyrics. You say you're scared, nigga. That's all. I ain't writing no lyrics. You know that's nigga the bone crusher you're talking about. Well, it's all like that. I'm never scared. Oh, you got a cream? You want to do a live show? You do a live? Mm-hmm. What's that? He just ball song live. Oh, goddamn right. <laughs> <laughs> he said, goddamn right. You goddamn right. You got that right. Yeah, my yeah, balls. Yeah. Did you hear the song? Yeah. Shit. Yeah, my balls. They always my with me. They always with me. What about my balls? <laughs> 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 hey, I, you might have to beat that bass. Um, Blaze, you might have to sing um, Curry Tone. Every. I could do the deep voice shit too. Cause that's, that's a tenor, but that's a high tenor. You just yeah, already yeah. damn near like an alto. <laughs> yeah. I'm a real tenor. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, be doing like, I be doing like the Barry White shit, but I be getting away with it. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm, a, I'm a real tenor. You're a blazer tenor. You a out soprano? Yeah, everything. Yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. Everything. Yeah, you like a falsetto singer, nigga. Yeah. You can't sing with all that wind yeah, you suck in. <laughs> 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 no many niggas that can sing, nigga. I don't call it delicate yeah. noises you make sing. Every big nigga yeah. sing. It's too every, much. Every, everyone. All they got to do is just learn to, right? Yeah. What's the key I to singing? Sing I can sing. I can sing it. I can sing it. Key of the choir. I can sing it. Your tenor alto is it? Tenor. I had to. I hate singing. You gotta be in a choir and then tell everybody else to shut the fuck that. up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's all from the diaphragm, nigga. You're saying it, man. I play the drums, nigga. I was in the choir. That's, that's, that's hilarious. Some, some musicians, always had the, musicians always had the cool job at church. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to wear, ain't got to dress up, nothing. You come up, right. come late, playing and dip. Right. You know what I mean? I used to walk, church started at 8 o'clock. I walk in at 758 in jeans and a black t shirt. <laughs> you know, you play yeah. and then play as soon as church over with. You know Some don't I even know. hear the message. You know what I mean? You know what I noticed, man? It's never no organ players with uh, Bible scriptures on them. It's always hood niggas, man. You ever notice that? <laughs> <laughs> It ain't, it ain't no choir director with Jesus Wept or nothing, my nigga. Right. <laughs> you got a scripture on you? Huh? You got a scripture on you? Scripts? You got a scripture on you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you got? The first Psalms. What, what, is, what, 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 what is it? Though? The first Psalms, uh, my grandma, she used to make me say it every day. You know what I'm saying? Um, what is that? Oh, blessed is the man that walking down the council of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, or standeth in the seat is the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, but in his law does he meditate day and night. He should be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bring forth in his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, whatsoever he do it shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but like the chaff with the wind drive it away. The therefore, uh, the. Yeah, I'll drive it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> therefore, <laughs> therefore, the. Nope. Therefore, the ungodly should not stand in their judgment, but the way of the ungodly should perish. Amen. That's Amen. Right. What does that mean to you? To me, it's about life. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like, for instance, they say, uh, you know, plant your fruit. You know what I'm saying? Um, don't do ungodly shit. Like, you know what I mean? I feel like live positive. You know, I have to interpret that on my own. But it's funny because my grandmother, she uh, made me um, learn that. And I didn't know what it what it was, but I feel like it's kind of a... Uh, a, like for life You know what I mean Like anything you put into Whatever you get the, uh, Just keep planting it Just keep watering it It's gonna grow You know what I mean So it's a lot of uh, I feel like it's a lot of Life uh, game in that Scripture alone Yeah What's the scripture You got off the top Off the top um, uh, Those Something like uh, Those who Think the Bible is foolish Will perish But To those who believe It's the way Something like I'm paraphrasing That's in Romans Somewhere no, it ain't in Romans nowhere. You, you made that up. You made that up. You barely read the scripture you got on your body. You, you said it like a uh, crazy bone. All yeah. fast. Yeah, you said you sound like you fucking. <laughs> 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 what you got for me, Duane? Uh, walk by faith, not by sight. That nigga, that's uh, Frederick Casey Price. <laughs> <laughs> Evidence. <laughs> you got one, Blaze? Yeah, I got one. Um, Ecclesiastes 728. 
One of the church boys know that. <laughs> you said Ecclesiastes? That's a pretty big word to get out in between swallows. You pausing? I mean, you know, you got the bedazzled glasses. You uh, already pausing? Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where you buy those motherfuckers at, man? Oh man, I went to see a girl about a thing. Oh, you don't want to tell mm. nobody. Look <laughs> <laughs> like old DBS. Yeah. Look like look here, brother. <laughs> you got him from the California Love video. Yeah. Man. <laughs> 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 wow. That nigga about to get into a look fight. <laughs> oh. It is oh, a look fight. Oh, <laughs> nigga almost caught me. Look, 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 look. <laughs> nigga almost caught me. Man, uh, I've been a musician at church. That shit was, you, you right. You go to church. Well, as soon as we done playing music, we can go sit in the car. Yeah. Yeah. And then come back in for the altar call. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't go back in the service. Well, let me scripture. Uh, the grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of God stands forever. Oh, there we go. I think yeah. that's First yeah. Peter or something. I don't know the rest. First Peter. Yeah. I ain't never heard nobody quote Peter. Yeah, that's a Bible reading. My fuck, you quote yeah. Peter. Yeah. If you quote like Malachi or Peter or uh, one of them, yeah. yeah. You a Bible reading, my fuck. <laughs> is this a scripture or is this something that somebody wrote based on the scripture? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever will believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. What's, yeah, that's, that's a scripture. That's a scripture. I was laughing when Eddie Griffin said, man, you know, Jesus ain't never wrote none of these scriptures. There's a lot of niggas that just know him and just put their name in a, uh, in a Bible. <laughs> Cause like we were Peter, nigga. I was like his daddy. Y'all start rolling. He didn't write the Bible, so he wouldn't have written scripture. The, the Bible existed before <clears throat> the Torah existed before Jesus existed. So, what yeah. about the Bible? But Bible is half of just the Torah. You can't exclude right. the Jewish part of it. You know what I mean? You can't exclude none of them. They all come from the Egyptian Book of the Dead. Every major religion, from Islam to Christianity to all that shit, come from the same book. The Talmud, all that shit, comes from. They come from the Emerald Tablets too. Our Emerald Tablets thirty six thousand years old. Mm -hmm. I mean, every when it comes to religion, religion is a form of spirituality practiced based on your immediate environment. So if you live in the plains, your God's gonna be named something related to the plains environment. Right. If you live in a tropical environment, your God's gonna be named something. They, people in tropical environments, they see things in sound, they in colors, greens and reds. Mm -hmm. they, it, it, your environment dictates how you interpret your life around you. Your religious practices is going to mimic your environment. So when people get all these <coughs> fights and arguments over which one is which, y'all wasting y'all fucking time. Uh, yeah, you are wasting your time. All that so, shit is, 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 is that's, all that shit is the same, man. Uh, today I read an article Andrew V. Wyatt wrote about the Me Too movement and how they're targeting black male celebrities. And they're basically on a witch hunt. For black rich dollars. Yeah, that's Bill Cosby guy, Andrew Wyatt. Is it? Yeah, yeah, that's the guy that's been representing Bill Cosby the last ten years, like public. Oh, good. It's gonna tighten us up, man. Yeah. I hate to say, it, the Me Too movement is a black celebrity mm. shakedown. It's, 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 it's a clan. Yeah. It's the Ku Klux Klan of bitter bitches. <laughs> it's the bitter bitch clan. But instead of burning crosses in your yard, they they probably burn uh, two big wooden dildos, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> they're extorting niggas. Wooden <laughs> wooden dildos. That's <laughs> right. as fuck. Or worse, they These burn bitches are you. criminal. <laughs> the only thing they know about Me Too is when somebody asks them to be the extra bitch in the threesome. I'm like, yeah, Me Too, bitch, come on. <laughs> Can I join Me Too? Yeah, I heard yeah. that story too. Me too, bitch. I, I was in a threesome with a me too, bitch. She offered. She said, "Can I, I eat the whole room and suck the whole room? Who wants some?" <laughs> That's a me too, bitch. Nice. That's a real me too. And I don't, I don't believe that chick with the big ass nose. I don't believe her at all. Glory Alred? No, not, not yet. I don't believe her is Glory Alred, but the, 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 the me too, the KRS too. Oh, okay. this oh, is yeah, strange. Yeah. 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 Fuck her. I don't believe her. The one. Yeah. Come on now, she look like Errol James almost. They do. I don't believe her. Yeah. I don't believe none of that. Who, who the fuck 
fuck harassing her. I mean, no. shit like that Monkeys. happened. You got some crazy niggas out there, you know what I'm saying? If she got ass, and they're going to get ass. She it. said on Twitter, it's not my job to go after white men. So she said that on Twitter. No, get the fuck it's out of here. a tweet of out there saying that shit. No, that's fucked up. Her, from her account. Yeah, that's foul. I got to hear her say it. Targeted, bitch. It's a scam. It's sending around celebrities. It's a tool to extort millions from wealthy black males and other males. Um, and they're wearing a costume called Women's Equality. Mm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It ain't right, man. Do you know Gloria Allred before the whole Cosby shit put up a website? Her and uh, the other dude, I think his last name is Huh. Oh, I forgot to say it's like what's his last name? What's I'm talking about? Another lawyer guy. They put up a they put up a website soliciting anybody that's been the victim of sexual abuse from Bill Cosby and was basically guaranteed that they would make them millions of dollars if they offered <laughs> testimony. Yeah, yeah but uh, 2014. Uh, 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 wow. I'm gonna make you a millionaire. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Don't care. I know you don't want to get up now, but it, you want to get it, up. It, look, if you put out a website and use your name or anybody's name that I know saying that if Dewine tests you millions, everybody would show up. Yeah. yeah. Every yeah. scumbag, it would even straight niggas would show up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that nigga, shook, that nigga shook my hand one time. Sexually. Right. <laughs> when I tried to unhand myself, he backed away. Sexually. Then he then he shook my hand again and forced me to thumb wrestle. Sexually. <laughs> 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 now, how much money I get? Sexual. <laughs> <laughs> That's some crazy shit, oh, bro. Shit. And the crazy part about it, that same year in 2014, she was defending Harvey Weinstein. Right. Oh. Yeah, no. like her daughter, like eight, like yeah, was defending uh, Harvey Weinstein, like Damn. Lisa Bloom, her daughter. Right, right. Just a, that's a hustling ass family. They, yeah. I, I respect the the business, but just say it's business, bitch. Stop acting like you give a fuck about other women. Right, that part. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a fucking lie. You don't care about nothing but your pocket. That's it. Because after you put the website up and got all these fake ass bitches to testify against Cosby, you use their testimonies to try to leverage against Cosby. And said, basically, give me a hundred million dollars to shut up, or we coming after you. Mm -hmm. That's extortion. It is. Wow. And, and, and you know it's extortion because the damn Pennsylvania Supreme Court said the case is BS. They broke the law to get Cosby. You know what I mean? Like they had, if they had something on him, he would have been in. He would have been in jail for that. Right. They broke the law to put him in jail for something he didn't even do. That's why they had to break the law to put him in jail to do it. Right. Right. This bitch is not. She's a high stakes gambler, bro. Uh, what's her name? Gloria Allred? Yeah. This bitch is, I feel like she's addicted to gambling. If you look at her track record in all her cases, it's all big gambles. She like a, she's like a high stake, high stakes poker player when it comes to suing influential men and using the plight of abused women as chips to leverage herself some bread. The bitch don't give a fuck about just, I really think she's addicted to gambling. She, I think Gloria already know that if you get the, if you get your attention on a nigga for anything sexual, hey, you use a good chance you're gonna win. That's yeah. why she said Harvey Weinstein's my friend. You know what I mean? She that, that's what she's about. Right. She about that. Corey uh, Corey Feldman talked about her because he was molested in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. He didn't. She didn't come help him because who molested him? People that she liked. Wow. Yeah. She went up to Corey she Feldman. Really, no, no. He no. He talked about her like how. Cause he was molested, like he didn't. She didn't help him out, right? You know what I mean? They were telling Corey Feldman to be quiet. You know what I mean? But when Gloria already come out, you know, and all she always targets niggas, and she's been doing this shit since the seventies. Yeah, this ain't nothing new. She been doing this shit, and now she got a daughter that does it. What? Lisa Bloom. Family hustle. It's, it's the family hustle. Oh wow! <laughs> so as a black person, you gotta say, okay, yeah. when you see Gloria already involved, accusing a black person, the track record shows that. People that she's gone after have been proven innocent by the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. and the courts don't give niggas no kind of nothing. You better, you gotta really be innocent to be proven, and proven innocent. Right. So she keep losing in court, the real court, but she getting all that money because she playing that settlement hustle. This bitch is a settlement hustler at his finest. We gotta pay. Damn. We gotta give she, her props. She's the greatest in life. Yeah. 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 Bro, when Princess Diana married Dodie Fayez, she found a, a bitch that didn't have no motherfucking uh, claim on nothing 
and 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 came up with a case that said Dodi Fayed uh, married me and breached the contract by marrying Prince uh, Princess Diana. No Made way. millions. No what? fucking way. What the fuck? <laughs> Made wow. millions. The same chick. Me too, chick. Different chick. What I'm saying. Uh, the same lawyer. Gloria Allred. Oh. When Scary Spice uh, sued Eddie Murphy, guess who she hired? Gloria mm-hmm. Allred. Mm-hmm. Wow. It's it's a pattern. Pattern. Yeah. She's tight. Shout out to that bunny. So how much you think of this is really going on? Like, I mean, you know, a sensitive subject, but we talking to R. Kelly, we talking to Sean Watson. <laughs> Do you believe that they were targeted or you believe it's a little bit of truth to uh, man, I, I think it's tar- they're targeted. Uh, you look at Deshaun Watson, he was one lawyer. That was a neighbor of the Houston a Houston, Texas owner. They shit didn't come out till he wanted to be traded. Right. Now my now my, my neighbor is covering and he put out a similar kind of act. Right. Now my neighbor is a lawyer and all these chicks none of them went to the cops, but they went, they went to my neighbor the lawyer. Wow. And that at that point I say people just use your common sense. I'm not gonna tell you what to think. Yeah. I mean, but to be devil's advocate. The why would you advocate for the devil? Right. I, I, I'm saying, I, I mean, because, because the, the devil was half God. God created the devil, so it's all God anyway. But uh, Deshaun Watson, Deshaun Watson got 66 cases. Come on now, you telling me? 24. Man, he got it's up to 66. But did that, did that even make sense? Right. No, but I'm but I mean, I think no, they, but but no, but, no, but. You but after no, right. because. You don't think there's no clue? None like of them? None. You sound like you're mentally jacking off. But yo, we got to... Uh, <laughs> yeah. he, he's only going for masseuses? Come on, man. Hey, boss, but let me ask you this, though, because they paid that man, what was it, $237 million? Yeah, the Browns are stupid. After the cases. Browns you feel what I'm saying? So Guaranteed do you money. think do you think the NFL knows something that we don't? Of course they do. Maybe the NFL has said? more money than... Uh, Damn near everybody. Yeah. Yeah. So they going they going to do the appropriate investigation. If he was really a rapist, they wouldn't have paid that man that money, bro. Yeah. He's a target, dog. The Browns be doing he, stupid shit. When you, that's true. That's that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's <laughs> Bro, you mean to tell me Yeah, yeah stupid. Yeah, stupid. Cuz you guaranteed and yeah, yeah, that's kind of dumb. Without a clause, like okay, you know, me if if you shit go against the fan. Twenty to twenty four cases got settled today. Yeah, twenty okay. to twenty four. And that's what they're doing it for, bro. The settlement. Yeah, Look, the, the, the way you act when you get money, you can't act like that. You're gonna have a million cases. <laughs> <laughs> and I know you ain't no rapist. <laughs> I know you ain't no sexual predator. Yeah. But you're not scared to get out of bitch and speak what's really on your mind. Uh, That's you. Yeah, somebody gonna so, make devil's advocate like, well, he was on Craig Fax. Yo, so, <laughs> and, and, and your mind ain't all the way there. So when you speak it, it'd be dangerous. Man. Could, uh, could, that, yo, could the NFL have paid this man that money to settle the cases? I mean, I don't know. I don't yeah. know. Here's the money. Go take care of that and get back on the field. Yeah, I mean, yeah, because it's not trivial, bro. But you, it wouldn't be NFL, be the Browns, you, you, not the NFL. But yeah. whoever paid them, the you Browns. know what I mean. The bottom line is, go pay these women off, right. settle the cases, and get back on the field. Do you right. think it's guaranteed? It is. The guaranteed. money is guaranteed, guaranteed. with He's all guaranteed. these cases out there. But it's but what's, what what regular motherfuckers don't understand is rich people get sued every day. Right. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. telling you, this oh, that is these yeah. lawyers' hustle, bro. Yeah. If it if he was really committing any type of sexual assault or battery, he would be in prison. There would be physical evidence. Ain't no nigga that is is that motherfucking jaded sexually to assault 66 women. Ain't no nigga that motherfucking on point where he cleaning up everything and making right. sure there ain't no physical evidence. <laughs> yeah. Like he gonna leave some physical evidence. Yeah. It's gonna be something that says, oh, this bitch was raped or he did some shit that he shouldn't have done. Right. These lawyers, bro, there needs to be there needs to be a checks and balances for these crooked ass lawyers, bro, because they ruining people's lives, bro. They yeah, hustling yeah. in the name of justice and they and it ain't justice. We got we got on injunctions on your businesses. Yeah. This, but this what happened, but what we've been hearing our whole life. You can be a doctor. You right. can be a lawyer. We didn't tell kids, hey, you be just as good being a roofer. Mm-hmm. We know what I mean, or being a welder. You be just as fine. We point at every kid. We, we, society may seem like the doctors is the best job ever. But so you all these, I mean, you got lawyers saying, all these fucking lawyers, but not enough goddamn real legal cases to happen. So what they gonna do? You got a whole bunch of lawyers and nothing to sue for. Okay. Somebody, said, something to sue. somebody said, no way all 66 live. Bro, if you holler at a woman you don't know, that could technically be sexual assault. Yeah. If you kind hey, you're a beautiful woman. I'd love to take you out sometime. That's that could be. Sexual assault. It can be. She can take it. Yeah. If you tap a woman on the shoulder, hey, can I talk to you real quick? Yeah, she, that's, oh. that's sexual assault. Inappropriate <laughs> sexual uh, contact. Yeah. If you say, look, I, I, I'm, you're beautiful. I love to fuck you. 
Oh, now, now you got shit. <laughs> <laughs> you raised on the same. What you mean? But, you know. That ain't no rapist shit. That's not a rapist, though, but I think he might be doing that yeah. when they're saying that. Every real nigga has gotten at a bitch live like that. You are yeah. very attractive. I, I'm going to just keep it 100. I would love to lay down with you. Yeah. Now, yeah. You, that, that's, I mean, that's, I mean, what that's, ain't, no, that's ain't, the case. ain't no nigga said that, man. <laughs> Shit. I have, man. Yeah, yeah me like too, that. but, who, but how many, how many me's and you's are right out there? Nigga? I ain't scared of no pussy, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah man. Hey, but I'm like, I'm, 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 I'm like Dewan on these subjects, man. When the money come in, when the money come into play, you know it's some bullshit, because if something really happens, to you, somebody violates you sexually, somebody violates you, you know, in that manner, period. You, I don't want to talk about no money. Right. What are we talking money for? And this, crazy this motherfucker should deal with this, man, because this is this is this ain't right. Here's the crazy part about it. If you go criminally, you not only get them put in jail, but you now you're guaranteed to get the money on a, on, on a civil case. Right. A criminal case don't stop a civil case. Right. You know what I mean? But a criminal case means you gotta actually get get a rape, rape kid filed. Mm. You gotta actually get an investigation, right? And if it if it looks as going as that way, you you gonna get both. They gonna get put in jail, and you getting your bread. Sexual mm -hmm. assault is an is an act in which one intentionally sexually touches another person without that person's consent, or coerces or physically forces a person to engage in a sexual act against their will. Mm -hmm. So he, he got sixty six of those. That that didn't happen, bro. Right. And and then in some states. Uh, in some states, you can say no. It's a certain time limit into the act that you can change your mind. Somebody said, well, "Then why he's settling?" Because that's called PR, nigga. Right. These lawyers know that if they put negative press out there about a player or somebody that's rich, that's devaluing their brand. Right. And so, what a what a lawyer and a PR person is going to tell somebody that's very rich is, "You just want to settle this and get this out the way because you, even though it's false information, people don't know how to distinguish between what's true." And what's false? And these sponsors out here will drop you, right, and right. endorsements yes, will. will drop yeah. you if it's some falsified shit out there. About why do you think Charlie Seen been on trial for the last year or two with this bitch? Because she false Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp because she falsely accused him of some shit that he didn't do. He lost multiple movies, right. lost millions of dollars over a false accusation. And as soon as it was as soon as it was over, uh, Disney used him as a, a promotional ad, like. Right now, they using they put his uh, 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 his character his character from Pirates of the Caribbean in the promotion. And then it's like nigga, she said, "Dog, the trial was six weeks, nigga, but this has been going on for a while." Yeah, about two seasons now. And on top of that, when you settle, if you, when you settle, you don't have to have everything opened up. People, you know, what, what is what is giving uh, seventy seventy thousand dollars of people that you, you got three hundred thirty million, uh, two hundred thirty million? What's that versus having your whole life opened up in the trial? Mm -hmm. You don't want everybody knowing everything about you that's going to come out of that trial. I think there should be, shouldn't there be a penalty for the false accusations? Not saying those are real. You feel what I'm saying? But yeah. those that accuse and then it's been proven that they lied. You feel what I'm saying? Right. I think if there's some sort of penalty towards that, that may stop all these people from faking. There is a penalty towards that. Slow it down for sure because it's, yeah. it's fucked up out here that they could say that crazy shit. And, and and we the only ones liable for it. We the only ones can lose the money. I'm going to start a club, bro. I'm going to start a club that all the ball players and basketball players can go into. And in order for you to get in as a woman, woman you have to say, I, I'm here because I plan on fucking a rich nigga. And sign off on it. <laughs> you're not you're not hanging out at the club with all the ball players right. and actors and right. shit that got money because you're not trying to get some 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 bread for your pussy. Yeah. Right. Do not have interesting conversations. You could be down at the local bowling alley, bitch, <laughs> having a drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they got drinks there. But you drove from Rancho Cucamonga <laughs> to Melrose Boulevard yeah. to go to Sal's, yeah. have two or three mimosas, yeah. then go take your ass over to the Cabana Club. Then take your ass up to uh, what's some other clubs? Okay, well, me either. Yeah, yeah. You flew your ass to Miami. Okay, you So you cannot get fucked by a rich nigga? No, you want to get fucked by a rich nigga, but you're mad because your pussy isn't worth what you thought it was worth. It yeah. was worth a couple drinks, a night in a hotel, yeah. and get on, bitch. Yeah. That's it. That's what it's worth. That's it, man. Stop, stop being sore losers, you punk bitches. You, 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 you know, the, you know what I'm getting out of this too, man. Is, is like you said, 
fuck it. Let them be whatever kind of losers they want to be. We got to be better winners. You know what I'm saying? So what they're going to do is tighten us up to the point that we doing shit like Craig said. We got the club going. Or ain't nobody getting to this penis without paperwork anyway. You know what I'm saying? These is rich yeah. niggas, though. Yeah. No yeah. paperwork. Look, it ain't no halfway crook, hoes. Yeah. <laughs> you either hoeing or you're not. Period. Yeah. It ain't I'm a good girl and I'm a hoe. If I get the money I want, and if I don't get the money I want, I'm a good girl and he took advantage of me. Uh, yeah, that ain't what it is. Why did you go to the hotel room? If I met you at the bowling alley, <laughs> yeah. what were the chances I could take your pretty ass back to a hotel room from the bowling alley? None. Right. Well, if it's me, it's a chance. Yeah. But if it's the one, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta wear the hat. You gotta wear the hat. Gotta it's the hat. hat. The hat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you give the Greg, it's all gonna change hats at the break. <laughs> but I'm saying it's all about proximity, man. You're putting yourself in a position to be a prostitute, but you want me to treat you like you're Claire Huxtable, wow. and I can't do it. Yeah, you can't you can't put on a uniform, get on the court, and then when when the ball don't get passed to you the way you want, now you want to quit the game. Wow. You still you you still are a hooper, bitch. Yeah. You still are a hooper. You worked on your game. You wouldn't got your ass done. You yeah. wouldn't got your titties done. Yeah. You wouldn't got your lips done. You Eyes. wouldn't got your makeup done. Your eyelashes. You spent fifteen hundred on an outfit. Right. You you got a car note you overextended on. You, got you live for you your living kids. in a brand new luxury apartment that's four grand a month that you can't afford. You hanging with bitches that don't, don't even, that don't even fuck with you like that. But because you spent all the money on the surgeries, you bringing attention to the group, so they want to hang with you. So you got fake friends around you. Your son don't even live with you. Your son live with your sister, your mama, or one of your cousins. Your grandma. You moved to L.A. on a pussy value mission. A pussy voucher. And it ain't working out for you. <laughs> File bankruptcy, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Take the ass and titties back. <laughs> Go back and get your AA degree. Your AA, your Figure out who you really are. But yeah. stop suing motherfuckers because you don't understand what your true identity is. You are a whore. You are a prostitute. All right. Period. Point blank. Street walk. Yeah. Crazy, I, I, I met this. But, but Craig, uh, back in the days we used to club uh, a lot. When the, in the club on, on those nights, you saw the same women. Yeah. It wasn't a new crop of women. It wasn't like every woman. You was gonna see the same fifty right. women. On Sunday night, do Thursday night, it's, it's, and they gonna rotate. They may not be there every night, but you gonna see them. It's the same people. They know they the, and they can tell I'm you the, everything about everybody in the club. <laughs> I'm never get a run now. And all you real ladies, y'all gotta start going harder on these hoes, man. Because they not one of y'all. Y'all be protecting them <laughs> like they're they good people. They not good people, bro. I met this broad who told me she divorced this motherfucker. He was in the service and this and that. And she met him. She had a kid, two, three kids. Uh, uh, they, they, you know, he put her in his house, put her mom in his house, mm. you know, had a hope. Nigga, she going through divorce and mad because she ain't getting no money out this motherfucker. Talking about how terrible he was, but the only thing I heard was he got some other pussy. A nigga took care of you, your kids, your mama. The kids put them kids through college on his. How that shit work with the service? You know, whatever yeah, it is. GI Bill and yeah, GI Bill. Yeah, GI Bill put her kids through, and all you got to say is how he cheated or he got some. You owed him some extra pussy. That's hilarious. And to top it all off, you know, she talking to me. She interested in me, so you know, she she want to get some personal going with me. I'm like. Is this nigga that take care of you, your mama, them three little bastards? <laughs> Who the fuck do I think I and he wasn't shit? Who the fuck I gotta be? Uh, <laughs> your attention. Uh, Why in the fuck would I sign up for this game? Right, you know what I'm You are right. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. I don't know what the fuck wrong with these shit is, man. That's the craziest shit. <laughs> 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 Yeah, dude, oh, man. Come back. Yo, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't buy them three fuckers a meal. This nigga put them through school. Right. <laughs> you divorcing him? Divorce? All right. Shit, Somebody cool. stressing me out. He, bitch, you stressing me out right now. <laughs> <laughs> Where that nigga at? Maybe he, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, he'll roll. Anytime you ask a weak bitch to stand up, she gonna say she's stressing out. Oh, God. Oh, That's, yeah. Bitch, stand up, bitch, yeah. on your own, too. Your cash can't be that tired. You've been sitting on your ass the last 10 years watching TV. 
just dropping kids off at school. Bitch, oh, you ain't done nothing tasteful with your life. Kids off at school. You ain't got no forklift license, a guard card. You ain't got no certificates. You bitch, you don't even know how to fix the brakes on your car. Bitch, you are humanly useless. A piece of shit. <laughs> You are a <laughs> <laughs> you piece of shit. Uh, I, I once knew a housewife. You just do a, a friend. I once knew a housewife that didn't even didn't even check her check her kids' homework. Oh wow! Yeah. You don't have a job and you don't check these these, these babies. That, that is, is your school. job. You know what I'm saying? Going school, no, 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 not turning no assignments in for two uh -huh. three weeks, and you don't know that. And you complaining about this dude? Yeah, right. Come, that's, come on, man. That shit crazy. Accountability, all these, all these man. That's clubs are full of single moms. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There has yeah. to be a charge for this, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. it's, it, there has to be like some type of passive sexual assault charge. Oh. Uh, yeah. You like, know what I'm saying? That kind of charge. Falsifying police reports. If you're all that. using sex <laughs> as a weapon and yeah. you're not disclosing that you're armed, right? That should be a charge. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If we were in the studio and a gun, two, three guns fumbled out your motherfucking back pocket, I'd be like, nigga, why are you, why are you strapped in this motherfucker? What's going on? Nigga, right. this ain't my dad. Right. right. You can't be armed and I ain't armed, nigga. Well, so no, if they're using sex as a weapon, then they're sexual predators. Yeah. Definitely. Right. A, per, a, a perpetrator pussy. Yeah, but that's what they are, period. Perpetrator pussy. We, we, <laughs> we supposed to know that from the gate. Yeah. The niggas don't know that. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so what we got to do is is we got to tighten up. That's what we got to do, well, man. Well, and it's the niggas' fault, too. Hell Deshaun yeah, Watson is your fault. Yeah. All you niggas is still your fault. As the man, it's still mm. your fault. Yeah. Because what do you niggas do? Man. When you get successful, you keep all the niggas... Away from you right. that tell you what it really is. Yeah. Thank you. you don't want nobody around you right. that's gonna challenge you and help you be a better motherfucker. Right. You just wanna be right and everything around you validates how you feel about you. But nigga, sometimes you ain't shit and you need to hear that. Yo, but what about maybe he got niggas around him that know that he's the money? This is the bank right here. I'm not gonna tell him shit. Do whatever the hell you want to, nigga. Because this, you see what I'm saying? Right. You could have niggas in your circles that see your amount of success and say, nigga, you there, I'm close to you, so do whatever the fuck you want. Keep doing what you're doing. Right. You ain't got the real niggas around you telling you, like, bro, you need to slow it down. Maybe he got them niggas around him that say, okay, this is our way out. You know what I'm saying? Well, second class of friends. Right. The, the, the ones you got there with were the ones that would tell you what it really is. They get rid of niggas right. like Usually us. Right when, you get, right when you get to that point to where you budding and now you got the agent. And you got people speaking for you. Like, really, I mean, you're on another, another level now, you know. So you come on over here with us, and then it's like, okay. Yeah, then, that, then what happened? They get another set of friends at that moment. They get a new team. Yeah, so a few team. niggas I've been around, nigga, the niggas they fucking with now wasn't there in the trenches. So that's a tactic. Yeah, you it see seemed that. like it seemed yeah, like niggas with the white girls too. Nigga, if you are if you made it and ain't nobody who was in the trenches with you around you no more, you are you're not a good motherfucker. Yeah. You're not the nigga you think you are. Right. You think you are know. he ain't the nigga we thought he was. Right. Yeah. right. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Yeah. Good point. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Why don't you tell the people, Craig, how do you keep them people around you? You see what I'm saying? Like when you get to that level and them agents and people start showing up and trying to separate you, how do you keep your core niggas around you so that you're not in a position that Deshaun Watson is in or the niggas that ain't got nobody to tell them. Well, I, can't, I don't know how to speak for football niggas, man. For no because, niggas, really? Yeah, you, you I, I can say how I would how I do it just the way I'm doing it now, man. You know, I just do what I do and but, I fuck man, with people that I fuck with. Man. I would tell them like... The answer was what he said, do what I do. If you don't know already, yeah. if a motherfucker got to explain to you <laughs> that you got to keep the core niggas around, you got to keep real counsel, if a motherfucker got to explain that to you, you lost already anyway. You know what's worse? That's, that's, you know what I'm saying? Point, but niggas get bougie, especially niggas that wasn't shit at one point. Sometimes they get bougie. <laughs> yeah. and, and, and they forget that motherfuckers made concessions for them. Right. Mm, they right. think that they was this hell of a nigga the whole time. It's like it's as, it's, it was it was a point where every nigga wasn't qualified, but somebody took a liking to him and took a chance on. Him. Right, right. right. When you a nigga that somebody took a chance on, you got to pay that shit back. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. You got you got to pay that shit back to the niggas that was there for you, bro. You just can't move on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to pay that shit back. You owe that to your niggas. Yeah. Right. It's not like your niggas was just doing shit. Uh, because of what they might be able to get from you, but you know what I'm saying? If, if, if niggas let you stand on their back, once you up there and you in a stable position, you got to pull niggas up that was there in the trenches, bro. If you don't yeah. do that, you a whole ass nigga. Real and tough. you deserve this Deshaun Watson type of treatment. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, 
perpetrator. They'll be in, like these agents that <laughs> they get these they get these parents kids when they're young. You know what I mean? They basically tell them, you know, you better than your the people around you. Yeah. You know, trust us, trust yeah. me. And, and and people fall for that. Don't like if you, if you that nigga when that when that time comes, don't fall for that. It's a tactic. Should, yeah, know who's around you right now who got your back. Because there's some people around you right now that ain't shit. It surprised you, man. But, I, I, but know who got your back. I got into it with a bitch I know him for a while the other day, and that bitch tried to say some shit to destroy a nigga. I'm mm. like, bitch, luckily that's some bullshit you're saying, but you tried to go out with a bang. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> you know what yeah. I'm saying? You tried to say some shit that would really knock a nigga off his square. You heard about that 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 Mongo that was supposed to be a informant in this, and his, they called his wife uh, texting the rest of the crew, yeah, he a rat, he a CI. Ooh, so now they, caught, now they caught up with her, he denying it, she denying it. But but to bring it back to what you saying, they asked her, well, what was up with that text that you sent to the homie saying that he was a rat? She was like, oh, no, I just said that because I he had cheated on me. I was just, I wanted him to feel what I felt. Oh. I was, oh. so, 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 you don't Shit. tell a motherfucker, that's, that's a gang. We talking about a, a hell of a gang. You don't tell no motherfuckers that I'm a rat because you upset. Oh. And if you do say that, say because whatever he did, I want that nigga dead. Don't say I wanted him to feel cheated on. I wanted him right. to. I wanted him to know the pain that I was feeling. Kill, 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 to keep it. That was a, she knows exactly what she was doing. Yeah. But but that's but that's most Man. women. That's most women. Fact. They don't really know how to gauge that scale. Fact. You know what I'm saying? They do shit based off of emotion, and and emotion is what a powerful what, motherfucking thing. What did Park say? He said, "Ain't no, uh, ain't nothing like a woman scorned. There's a whole lot of cemeteries and motherfuckers not knowing." Man, man, that emotion is so. Man. You know the scariest thing about motherfucking emotion is think about a time that you was really emotional about something, whether it was angry, excited, whatever, and then you realize you had the wrong emotion. You shouldn't have been upset. Right. Or you shouldn't yeah. have been. That's the scariest shit in the world. Cause because based on what I was feeling at first, right. oh, I was gonna do a whole bunch of shit. Yeah. Yeah. I realized people, I was wrong. Oh, people man. get emotional because a lot of times because they want to do what they want to do, and then when you don't let them, they get emotional. Yeah. It's, it's like, like nigga, the only shit you could do when you want to is shit that it really affects you. But if only it's, you. If it's other motherfuckers involved, it's never your world. It's always some shared shit and you gotta be prepared for the consequences if somebody don't see shit the way you see it. It's not yeah. a bad thing. It just yeah. is what it is. Yeah. You know, but you can't use your emotions to control. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's some fucked up shit. Todd, what you got for us today? Man, well, staying on the subject, man, we're gonna talk about uh, Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon had to step down as CEO of WWE because he had an extramarital affair and wow! Gave, and gave and gave the woman uh, three hundred three million dollars of hush money, right? Damn, then, man. then when he was through with her, he passed her to the to the next man up. Like, all right, I'm done with this. You can you know you can fool with her. Right. And then she snitched on him. So after, after, three three million? Million? after she got the three mil. Damn. So boys. how much hush money? Like it should be something. Damn. When you hush money yeah. somebody, you supposed to hush. You should be get sued for that. That should be some yeah. kind of crime. Yeah. 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 He's gonna put her in sleep. Oh, Wait, for, you still with Linda? The long sleep. Yeah. I mean, yeah, there is a, a they can sue, but you still gonna lose. They talking to the mic, nigga. <laughs> I mean, they can sue. Show, I mean, man. because you made a contract, so they can sue. So. But you still going things will change because it came out, regardless of whatever it is. The truth. What is she suing for? What the fuck? No, I'm saying like if he if, if he had a contract, yeah, yeah, sexual. Yeah. Like she feels objectified because she passed me to the homie. That's that's the part she mad at. Like, oh, you passed me to the to the dude who wasn't even the CEO. But you thought he really loved you? Did she take it? I mean, she, for a little bit, yeah, she fooled, yeah, she she fooled with it for a little bit, and then got tired of like, oh man. We're, talk, we're talking about a married man, right? Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> what the fuck? Is, <laughs> what the fuck is it? What are you gonna get from a married man? Right. Everything is gonna be on the used Sympathy. side of the game. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Passing and yeah. She's gonna get a TV show run. She's gonna bounce yeah. around all these different TV show talk shows, <clears throat> talking about how bad she was hurt and all that, and make some more extra chip, but. I mean, it's fucked up. The Vince has to has to step down. But I mean, that's crazy because the thing is, like you said, the story started out by saying Vince McMahon cheated on his wife. This is Vince McMahon. This nigga just said, is he still married to Linda? First name basis. Who don't know this nigga's married? She right. knew the nigga was married right. from right. jump. Right. Exactly. From yeah. jump. Right. You see what I'm saying? From right. jump, she knew the nigga was married. And then she got the three mil, 
and then chose to be passed off. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Right. That's, come on. Where, like I said, where's the flip side? This nigga shouldn't have to lose his business for that. What was her business? It could be the, <laughs> it could be the nigga she passed off to. This nigga <laughs> said. <laughs> that nigga probably said, yo, tell on this nigga, man. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Don't he talk. Hated, he could have had it on the position for me. Yeah, yeah right, right. Could have been a strategy. Uh, Send that nigga to an old wrestler. Yeah, old wrestler or something. He probably passed it to the wrong person. You and gotta then, get the jump on these things, man. <laughs> <laughs> and to show you how, and to show you how rich people do. Um, so before this came out two weeks ago, uh, out of nowhere, Stephanie McMahon, the daughter, she just stepped away. Like I'm stepping away from wrestling. I don't want to be a part of this company no more. So she, she just, she just stepped away. So when this came out two days later, she now steps up and is now the CEO. Uh, so she, she married uh, Triple H. So yeah, uh, yeah. So she distanced herself. They, I mean, when you get a certain amount of money, you know how to maneuver. So she knew right. something was coming. There's something she, else to this. No, she she probably, chess. Chess. Yeah. That's like, what I'm saying. Yeah. So she distanced herself. So it ain't like nepotism. Like, right, all right, I'm just right. giving it to. I'm giving it to somebody I who ain't even in the company. Remember, we're talking about wrestlers. Oh, yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> remember, oh, we're talking about wrestlers. That's true. And then week, also, man. and then also, um, you know how Deshaun Watson, when he had his thing, he was quiet for a second. and right. all that. Vince was on wrestling the next night. Yeah, this and is... didn't even address the, the situation. So he, he came out and just acted like business as usual. Man, like he so, should have. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, hey. rich people. Niggas, no. Oh, yeah, she was an ex. No, no, she was, a, um, she was an accountant. Oh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Y'all laughed at me a couple of weeks ago, man, when I said, man, niggas just got to buy some pussy, man. It's a whole lot cheaper. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when you playing these bargain games, yeah, baby, I'm cool and handsome. That's why you hanging. No, you're not. <laughs> you're here for some money. I'm here for some pussy. Let's negotiate this and get it. You'll be done. $200 later, she up out of there. Now you know you're dealing with a business person. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. You get the right when, you, when you playing game with, 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 with crooks and thieves and shit. Or all right, employees. Yeah, you take this and hush. And then, you, and then she run her mouth later. Right. Nigga, this is a slow hoer in the first place. That's <laughs> what <laughs> she got this position for, to do some slow hoeing. Not no real hoeing. You're you watching a good movie in that VR yeah, city. Slow hoeing. Yeah. 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 I thought yeah. he was. He in the metaverse right now. Uh, yeah, that nigga over there. And you put that on your taxes? <laughs> Blaze, how good had it have been to have been worth three million? That's what I'm saying. Man. See, See, but if she, was, if she was smart enough to know how to, to manage that three million or diversify that income, she wouldn't have been in the position to get it the way she got it. You know right. what I'm saying? Well, she didn't get paid because of how pussy or how good her pussy was. She got paid for what she knew. Right. right. Yeah. Well, well, she got in the position. But it was okay. It came out anyway. Out yeah. of the pussy. Yeah, but bitches yeah. get in the position just because they bitches. That's what he's saying. Yeah. Pussy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But I'm just saying, they ain't got to do the bitch. Oh, she was an accountant. It's bitches in that position. See, they accountant? Yeah, for yeah, WWE. Oh, this nigga wild. Yeah, she's yeah. 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 the accountant for uh, WWE. She's on both books. Yeah, that's why she, yeah. <laughs> that's why she got paid. Yeah, she's on both books. Yeah, yeah. the story ain't yeah. real. She, she yeah. double dipping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. she don't go both books. This, this is the story of money right here. This, this is Vince McMahon, bro. This shit ain't real. I mean, but he's rich though. So I mean, like, if he if he spent three million, he had ten million to spend on that. You know what I'm Look, saying? First of all, Man. his wife always knew about the bitch. For sure. So is if it's real, it's some other shit that they covering up. Yeah. Right. Steroid use. Right. You right. know, cause you know what I'm saying? Right. It, it's yeah. something else. They're trying to say that the, the the problem is is that she was a subordinate employee and that's what makes it illegal to do. It does make it illegal. Yeah, because she works. Just, it happens every day in them jobs. Oh, for sure. All the employees. It's illegal to fuck with an employee if you're a boss. If you're a boss, yeah. yeah. They say you, you I mean, it's frowned it's upon. It's really yeah. like, you know. He owns this company, bro. He can do what the fuck he want to do. That's, that's why yeah. I don't understand yeah. why niggas is planning. You can get some of the... This is California. <laughs> you can get some of the, the, the most beautifulest dummies live right here. You know what I'm saying? So you, you can get some of the baddest pussy you ever had right here for a few hundred dollars. <laughs> they in Connecticut while I'm at this. So Nigga, they, look at the money they got. Order, that, order her ass. You can call a motherfucker out here. He said order. Yeah, Uber Eats. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uber Holes. Yeah, that's, they didn't come up with a plane for that. You know, these bitches out here getting, <laughs> these girls getting flown out. You got to do what every other old white man does. You got to fuck with an Asian bitch. <laughs> that's the truth. Vince ain't been to the meetings. Rich, right. white Tom motherfuckers Tom. fuck with Asian women. Yeah. Yeah. That's what they're doing right now. That's what they do. Yeah. Or boys. Way worse. Yeah, yeah. right. right. Yeah. Our boys. Like, chicks not not like, accountants. Huh? Like we were talking about white dudes, black dudes married white women. Like, they ain't got nothing on these white dudes and Asian women. Yeah. Them motherfuckers is going to grow. Them, it it, it, it should tell them the bottom line is a, a, a man don't give a shit about no color. 
all we care about is a couple of things, and it's mostly ourselves. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, as long as we cool. Oh shit! Dick, dick on the ratio chart. Oh pussy, pussy titty chart. That's almost gonna be what I am. That's why I am real, nigga. You gotta listen slow, bro. I'm saying that's what. That's why the white men are fucking with the Asians, not fucking with Samoans, because of the pussy to dick ratio. They they want to fuck something that's small rather than somebody a big tall pussy. And I'm trying to fuck that. I know you don't get it, Sean. Yeah. <laughs> how many pu- Sean, how many pussies you done hit in your life? Be honest. In her life. In Over life. five? Yeah, for sure. Seven? Over Seven? 50? Todd, we're not talking about five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, how, 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 how old are you, Sean? 34. Okay, I'm, I'll give him eight. Eight. And call it what you want, man. As we close, is that it? I mean, it's valuable, you know what I'm saying? You know, you can say eight. You can say eight. Seven, seven, seven and a half. Seven and a half. Seven and What's your body count? I'm in it. I'm out there. Yeah. Hey, I'm out there. 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 i am out I'm like, Todd, I'm out there. <laughs> 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 Dwight, how many? Uh, Dwight. Dwight. <laughs> all, all I wanted. Yeah, all, you, all you wanted? Over every last one? I don't want nah. Everything I wanted. Over the? Everything, yeah, yeah. Everything I wanted. <laughs> He's like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 22. Snap. Over the. Oh, yeah. Over, the. Oh, yeah. <laughs> over 50. I don't know. Nah, nah. I don't think over 50, man. Damn. I don't think over, over 50. 50. But I don't know. I, I mean, I was down for a minute. You know what I'm saying? I took yeah. a long He's period of time. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so, nah, yeah. 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 I don't know. I don't know. I can't lie. Because before that, it was shit. I was with Mr. Out There. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. uh, you know what I mean? It was there. It was, it was, yeah. it was, it was brutal. It was brutal. Y'all, y'all, y'all it was brutal. Y'all rock steady out It was brutal. <laughs> <laughs> Could you be with a bitch yeah, that's? That, could you be with a bitch that's been with more bitches than you? It depends. More oh, bitches? Oh, oh my goodness! Yeah. 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 That's a team sport. No. Yeah, that's a team. No. That's a team no. sport. Yeah. You do that no. My, my define, feelings. Define be with. I'm talking about a bitch that se- has sex with more women yeah. than you have. No, but like eight more pussies. Than you. Yeah. I'm talking about fucking eight more pussies than you, bro. <laughs> yeah, I care. Yeah, for you sure. might, might be able to learn some shit. Nah, true. No. Fuck, you can't my limit. Ego, that, <laughs> my you ego can't limit it to <laughs> fucking. Yeah. Man, yeah. fuck <laughs> anything. Right. Yeah. yeah. Certain shit to look out what's, for. All that kind of good. What's the number too big? What if what if her body count was seventy and she's thirty five? That's cool. That's average. Yeah. Is it? Wow. Out the These game. bitches are yeah. fucking out here, bro. Yeah, I, hey. I don't think you so, understand. I, I don't understand. Them I don't trained, know. You know what I'm saying? Huh? That nigga said them average. The average bitch is at least fucking five niggas a year. Mm. Do, do you count the females, though? Five niggas a year? Yeah. Yeah. That's and, a, that's, and that's a, a that's a regular one? That, that, that's a regular uh, not, that's not a, a good one. And that sounds crazy, but if you only that's a woman that ain't a hoe. Yo. Nigga, but that sounds regular. Uh, that sounds yeah. crazy because it's a, a woman. Different nigga what if it's every a, other month. If it's talking about not a hoe, she got a different nigga every two months. But if he's making her pussy every two months, what if it was you though? Doing that. Three months is a cycle. She you ain't think even making a cycle weird. with niggas? Or does that make nah. us better if we doing the same shit? That's though? what I'm saying. Yeah, These out. bad bitches. But do you count? Do women count women as bodies? Yeah, that's the body. No, they are bodies. If you ask her what's your body count, do she tell you the man or do she tell you both? That's what I'm saying. That shit is crazy. Oh, they never got counted. Oh, you, you, think it's, you, think, you think it's girls running around here talking about, yeah, I used to fuck show? No, hell no. no. Exactly. So get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you watch Craig Fax? You know show? Oh, I used to fuck show. No, no, no. I, I, I hope not. I hope not. I hope not. So. I want to stay on this five women, uh, five dicks a year shit with Craig. And that's an average woman, not average a, woman. not a, not an entertainment woman, not a, a singer songwriter. We talking about one who gets up and go to AT and T. A bitch is at the club every week is hitting at least ten niggas a year. A bitch who go to the club is a different bitch. But I'm talking about the one that get up and go to work. I'm talking about I'm talking about your nurse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But Blaze, huh? Blaze, you, you 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 tripping off this this five a year? But if that was if that was you, and it was like, yeah, man, I only knocked five girls this year. 
That's that would be that was that would sound bad. Yeah, that's bad. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> see, see, it's a yeah, no, no, it's a difference. I'm going for president. All right, that's so if there's only five people vote for me, I ain't shit. You still can't out fuck no bitch, nigga. I never attempt. It don't out matter what bitch. presidency you're running from. Yeah. You still can't out fuck the prey. The bitch right, might be yeah. yeah. fucking four different dudes from the world. Cause all the prey got to do is stop running. That's yeah. yeah, that's all the prey got to do is stop running. Right. Yeah. All right. These bitches is out here getting slaughtered. <laughs> Man, yeah. if, if I run into a five year, five penis a year, <laughs> all I'm going to be is number six. That's it. How you going to know? Yeah. She ain't going to tell you. you can be uh, number well, she don't yeah. tell me. She got This This lie got to be well maintained. Them glasses yeah. tell them everything. <laughs> no, no real nigga ask a bitch. I ain't never asked a bitch how many niggas she been with. No, you never asked that. No, not, no, no. not since I've been a grown ass man. Maybe, <laughs> maybe when I was like nineteen, twenty. I really, I really be into my women no, psychologically, man. Yeah. So yeah. certain things I really, and yes. I, I ain't tripping on it. I ain't, right. you know, some motherfuckers ask for me emotional faces. How many dicks yeah. have you had? I don't give a fuck about it like that. I just want to know your pedigree. Here it go. Here, here it go. Much. Look, so we having a yeah. side debate. You think they're gonna give you the real answer? <laughs> no, 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 the real no. number. No, that's not the point. That's so not, why no. would you well, ask? It, it, so that's get it off. No, that's so that's not the point. So if I say, yo, how many people you been with? You know, and she's like, three hundred seventeen motherfuckers. Like, oh shit. Versus somebody say, oh, I only been with seven people. Right. But what? If, get, but the lie to me. Give the me the seven, lie. Let me buy the lie. So what the fuck you asking for? You can just make that shit up by yourself. No, no, you no, can no. Just grab a girl and be like, uh, so she looks like she only have four dicks in her life. I'm gonna fuck with her. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? But look, if a woman's been, you said 317 men? Yeah. And she's been fucking for at least 25 years. So that's from age 15 to 40. That's 12 niggas a year. That's being honest, too. Fuck that's that. That's why I'm out the game. I told right, you. Boy, that's, <laughs> that's one dick every 30. That's like a bill. Yeah. I, I, let me pay the bill. Let me eat this dick. In 30 days, I'm going to do it again. It's going to be the same bill, a different dick. What kind of shit is that? I don't want that, man. <laughs> this, shit, this shit getting scary. I think yeah. this, this must be an episode of Scared Straight. No. Man. I'm going to go If a chick is 45 right. and she's been fucking five men a year yeah. since she was 15, uh -huh. 30, uh -huh. that's 150 niggas. Oh. That's about average, bro. Wow. Now, what happens if, if, she average? Do, if she do answer you? Yeah. Then what? Then you okay. then you know where you stand. You done already smashed, though. This your girl. And so now, because you, you, you're not going to ask you, you're not going to ask no other chick how many niggas they smash unless they're your girl, right? No. I'm, or before I'm, you finna make them your girl. Because you, you need care? to know. You need to know. Like, I'm there. 317 is never going to make it the girl. Somebody said, why care. five a year? Because when you meet a but that's chick, a professional. normally, if y'all clicking, by that next week, a couple of days, y'all done met up, had coffee, ate. Then y'all went out that next weekend. And generally, if you go out three times, you fucking the bitch. Right. That's right. That's how, most bitches are going to fuck quicker, but I'm talking about average. So right. how, long, how long it take you to fuck her? It depends on the bitch. If it's a, if it, average. If it's a pe nigga, I done fucked. Uh, not, not you. I, the I, average I, man, too. Not you personally. The average I, man, the average woman. We're going to use them now. I say a month. If okay. they talking all the time. So, so, so after she fuck him in a month, she ditches him and start on the next month. Cause well, no, no, no. But you're forgetting. <laughs> it's not so vicious. I'm ditching you. It's so. This <laughs> nigga not thinking straight, though. Because you ain't the first nigga to holler at her. So right, the, right. The day before you hollered at her, another nigga hollered at her. Right. The day before that. So right. it's all it's all residual. So, so yeah, for sure. So ain't no exactly. bad business getting hollered at once, nigga. As soon as you crack her, 10 minutes later. Right. No, no. Right. Cracking is cracking. But I'm, so you're saying she's synchronizing dates and shit, though, right? So your three weeks start today. My <laughs> three weeks start two days from yours. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. how you say it. Go. No, yeah, I'm, I'm not saying. I'm going, I'm going on averages. <laughs> show, <laughs> show, show, me a, show me a bitch with one phone number. Show me a bitch with one phone number in her phone. No, no, we're not. Bring me a bitch in here that just got your phone number in her phone. Not even your mama's just got your number right, in her phone. Right. No. Every bitch got at least 10 niggas in her phone. And out of the 10, she done already fucked three. Yeah. There's two niggas working on the bitch. Yeah. And there's a new nigga added to the phone every goddamn week. I mean, she's deleting three yeah. every week. IG, that don't even include DMs. You yeah. feel what I'm yeah. saying? This is this yeah. game is a so dirty maybe, game. So maybe I'm thinking I'm about the part. rotation as opposed to just the 
That sounds like a stock, you know, play right there. These three niggas are the regular. Carolina, stop lying, motherfucker. You know it's real. He's like, not my girl. Not my girl. I'm curious, like but that. I'm curious to know, even if the girl says she had sex with 300 people or 400 people or 200 people. You don't mean that. I'm saying, why is that in it? Why, why, why would that intimidate you to not fuck with her no more? No, I didn't say you I wouldn't fuck with her. It's just, just how you from. fuck with her. Yeah, he said he said she ain't making the girlfriend status. Yeah. Where you get intimidation from? Yeah. No, it's desire. Not, not at all. I don't no. desire. No. no. <laughs> all right, cool, cool. Yeah, so why not? Uh, too many people. And these are the type of bitches that Gloria Allred <laughs> is defending. Yeah. Gloria Allred. Y'all better stop listening to this devil of a bitch, man. Yeah. Devil of a bitch. Yeah. She's she's putting. <laughs> She put she put whores on a pedestal and she's using the law to justify her illegal actions. If you if, um, you can't defame the character of somebody that don't have no character. Right. You feel some of these bitches is just bodies with pussies on them. <laughs> it ain't nothing inside them. If if let if 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 let me play devil's advocate was a person it'd be uh, oh girl <laughs> I respect Gloria's hustle man but when she get to Target and black people black women stop jumping on her side just because she's a woman she don't fuck with you right, right. she do not fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? Our women got that bad where they see a woman that's saying a man did something to them and they automatically jump on the woman's side as if they not getting, uh, as if they get along with all their friends and all their friends got class and is respectful. Some of you bitches got friends that ain't shit. Yeah. And some of them ain't shit bitches is doing ain't shit shit and you defending it just because she a body with a pussy on it. And the shit is getting out of hand. Even that, go back to that Drake shit. The bitch who pulled the condom out the trash can, you know what I mean? Oh, and poked holes in it, tried to use it on herself. And then she hired a lawyer, right? To sue right. that nigga. Right. Who the right. fuck was taking that case? Right. You feel what I'm saying? The hot sauce. They need a they right. need a they need a charge for women, Blaze. Straight up. A charge a, a, something that has to do with a woman that tries to destroy a man. I'm you charging. tried to destroy me, bitch. Yeah. It's a perpetrator yeah. penalty. Yeah. What is it called? Perpetrator. What is a defined perpetrator? You might, all my my scholars know what perpetrator means. Anybody? This nigga. Tell him, nigga. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't grab his phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Yeah. 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 I told you guys, don't get y'all like, oh, perpetrator, a person who carries. Just tell me. Hey, seriously. A person who carries out harmful, illegal, or immortal acts. There we go. So she got a perpetrator pussy. It's a. There aren't charges out there for people who do this. It's just that. Uh, two things: Is a person going to file the civil suit? Oftentimes, like the people like the Deshaun Washington people, they'll just let it go. You know what I mean? Instead of instead of instead of attacking and going back and filing civil suits, they they have that option. Then oftentimes these DAs, depending on who the victim is, that this is up to the DA to, to charge them. I mean, you know, depending on depending on the color of the person of the DA and the person that they're going to charge, that may or may not happen. Anytime you introduce business into anything, it's all bad. It's, 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 it's fucked up, you know. Politics, church, uh, any of this shit. Anytime you introduce business into sex. it, man. Yeah, sex. I mean, you know, it, it's fucked up for the personal tip, but you know, yeah, it's agree. all bad, man. We're gonna go to commercial break. When we get back, more Craig facts. That's how this shit up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm tired of people not saying what it is, man. I'm a director. Hey, I'm a director. <laughs> Places, everybody. Son, I apologize. I took some risk to provide for you and your mother. It landed me in jail for eight years, and it took me away from you. Excuse me. What's up, Phil? 
Hey. What's going on, Slink? Just left the shop, man. You left us up there. I figured you might oh, need okay. this. Oh, okay. Appreciate that, What y'all got going on up here? All oh, right. y'all chilling. What's happening? Hey, Charlie, what's up, my nigga? What's the word, what's my guy? What's up, big old man? man? What's the word, dog? Man, I ain't seen you in a minute, you, man. What you been up to? Oh, shit. Not drinking enough protein shakes, yeah, obviously. Yeah, you, you know, man. You, when you light-skinned, you, you got to play the part, man, so don't nobody fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you can use that kind of life, man. Fuck the kids, man. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. What's been going on, though, man? I'm telling you, nephew been out there doing it big, though. All these views, man. What is this nigga doing? This man is a lyrical and creative genius. I need me a thick but no homo, though, because that's that gay shit. Nigga, as long as I say no homo, it's not gay, right? Absolutely right, sir. Anime. Shout out to Charlie Google's film. <laughs> Protection. Can't call me Papi, I teach her This is so dumb. Everything about this was iconic. Let me know what you think, bro. I got you. You should call. Like, this needs to be the best meme. This needs to be the next Old Town Road. <laughs> What's going on with you, you big French bull, Mastiff Terrier looking motherfucking dog ass nigga, man? You just like your daddy, man. Look at you, boy. You get big. Ah, shit. Nigga, I broke my hand, you bum. What you feeding this nigga? A you whole got, lot of greens. You man. got some more of it. I'm hungry. They got some weed in here. <laughs> I want to take some time, though, man. I got to thank y'all, man. Okay. First of all, I want to thank you for holding down the shop while I was in the, in the penitentiary, man. No, I'm just it's saying, right. just all you got to yeah. do, nigga, is put the. Yeah, run gotta, the alternator. Run the line to the alternator. Yeah, the, the tube got to go in the hole. Without you, none of this would be possible. Right on. I love you, man. Brother-in-law, you've been a rock, man. You put money on my books. You kept me eating while I was locked down. You was there for my son. You've been a rock for my wife. Whatever you need, I got you, man. I'm just, I'm just humbled by that, brother. I gotta say, though, man, if I had something in my glass, I would toast you. You've been doing right by my sister, and I really honor and appreciate you for that. I know things ain't been perfect, but you've been doing the best that you can. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, brother. And I appreciate you for that. Dad, me, glass me up anyhow. Even though mine's is empty, toast to you. To my son, man, I, I, I apologize, Junior. I wasn't living right. And because of that, the system took me away from you. The show you are watching is a paid program or advertisement. USA Network is not responsible for the claims and representations made by the sponsor. Hello world, I'm Cephas X. Hotel, I have a breakthrough for you today. Years ago, my ex-wife, come on, my beautiful ex-wife, we traveled to Kemet. I picked up what I thought was a harmless blueberry. Unbeknownst to me, it was a Godoji berry. Godoji. Godoji berries have healing qualities. They heal any and everything. You ain't got no hands? Godoji berry. You got a bad knee? Godoji berry. You a little slow and don't know where to go? Godoji berry. Baby, bring me a berry. Hurry up now. Hurry up, baby. Okay, baby. I mean, you need a damn dagger to give me a berry? Why you got a dagger? My bad, baby. Okay, I mean, you know... Just Get the fuck up out the screen. Look. Yeah, this dude got the key to success, homie. You know, you're in and out. You're in and out. You just need to be out more times than you're in. And, and uh, I'm going to get to that, okay? I mean, you the cameraman or you, are you me, okay? I'm me. You the cameraman, okay? Look, we walk the path of the great migration. Dogs don't think barks. They think words. Can you please go get me the bits, bits? <laughs> hurry up, hurry up. Okay, look, look, look. I'm gonna eat this berry now. Look, there's a dog there. Look, look. We gonna bark at the dog. It's, it's, ain't nothing gonna happen. What? Ready? Let's bark. Mm -hmm. Look. <laughs> See nothing, nothing. The dog has not responded. <laughs> See no joining. The dog doesn't know, right? But when I get on my knees, I say, "Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Come here, boy." The dog comes right to me. See, the Godoji bear. It works here. And I swear this is not a scam. But you don't mean you. Hey, go dial this number. Get them berries.
Hello? <coughs> Hello? Who we getting collect calls from, baby? We getting collect... Okay, Joker. Hi, can I speak to Cephas X, please? Hold on. I'm trying to get a 3.5 of the Joja Berry. What? Could, I... <laughs> Could you wrap those up in wool? Are you playing? Hang up the phone! Alrighty. <laughs> that was classic, fool. <laughs> Why y'all people... Serious callers, please. Okay, who... Carla, how you doing, Carla? How can I help you, Carla? Yo, Greg, it's your pops. What? Pop? It's your pops. Call 819. Come on, man. 819. I don't even remember. Please. Please. At the end of the day, I can't complain. The only enemy I have is me and my own big head. <laughs> me and Charlie Google's been running scams since 1985. Chill with us. It's not your regular hip hop album. It's a comedic satire inspired by the late great Bill Withers. Rest in peace. We own it. Selfish pride to the side as we vibe in the moment. We own it. Uh, selfish pride to the side as we vibe in the moment. Yeah, I got a bitch, man. Yeah, I got a bitch. We own it. Selfish pride to the side as we vibe in the moment. Yeah, I got a bitch, man. Yeah, I got a bitch. We own it. When you have a woman worth dealing with or you got the bitch of life on your team, it's no longer I, it's we. Whatever mission I got, we got. We own it we get into it and that's for me that's the biggest thing about life is you want to be a part of something bigger than yourself so you know if you can't say we own it with the people closest to you then you need to revisit everything you're doing if it ain't we it ain't nothing that's what the hook is about misplaced gloves you lost your touch never been to europe i don't go dutch Pay me what you owe me it ain't that much just a few more bucks and we gonna do our stuff you got to feel your way through life sometimes, right? And if you don't have the right fillers on, you're going to be out of touch. You put gloves on and that's associated when you may touch something that's too harsh, a harsh surface. Are you trying to protect your hands from something that can harm them? So I'm saying, you know, basically like a lot of people ain't got the gloves, right? Gloves on, they lost their touch. I'm not breaking bread with nobody or going half with nobody that ain't willing to put the same type of work in I'm, I'm putting in. It's like, look, I, you know, I, I don't mind breaking bread with you. You know, you don't even got to pay the cost I'm paying, but you got to pay something. You got to be patient and diligent. Whatever you got to do to come up with the necessary bread or the necessary creations to show me you got the ambition to fuck with me, you got to do that. It ain't going to be that hard. You just got to believe in yourself. Misplaced hugs, but we can't fuck. Never knew a bomb bitch that can't blow up. Just because I embrace you don't, don't mean that I think you got the right mind behind the embrace. So I embrace you out of love, out of humanity. But if I'm not fucking with your mind, I'm not fucking with you. If you don't think you the shit, how you gonna blow up and be get, get to that level that it would take to really have that belief in self? If you a bad motherfucker, you a bad bitch, or just a, you know, a bad person in a good way in general, you gotta think that in your mind first before you can blow up and become what you wanna be. Say what you know, she. She's with us. Greyhound lunch break, meet on the bus. It don't matter what you know. If somebody has that mentality, he or she gonna tell you who they with. Greyhound lunch break is a metaphor. So if you doing something productive, I'm gonna meet you while you doing it. And a lot of times in a world of like pimps or plan, it's like you meet a bitch busting at her. I'm gonna meet you while I'm out doing what I'm doing. Meet on the bus and talk about a new car. Shit we could have had but couldn't grab cause it was too far. Never knew your dad so when you laugh I still school you. Umar. Everybody on the bus want a car. Everybody you meet on the bus, if you busting and articulating whatever it is you're trying to sell in life or whatever advantages you want, they want something else too besides what y'all talking about. No matter who you busting, whether you on a bus or you busting at somebody, they want something and you want something. So what's that vehicle that you want that's going to get you there? Never knew your dad, so when you laugh, I still school you. Umar. A lot of times if you don't know your pops or people who didn't know their pops could be gullible. I'm not saying everybody is, but you could be perceived as gullible. So even if you are gullible and don't understand where I'm coming from, I'm still going to school you, Umar. Umar is an activist. Umar Johnson, real dope dude. I don't know him, but I like what he stands for. Stands for. But he was raising money for a school. 
and there was a controversy, hey, you raised all this money and you still ain't open the school. So I use that as a metaphor, like even if you gullible, I'm still gonna school you, Umar. I did the math, nigga figure out who you are. I'm on a bitch's mind, I'm on a different time. Check your watch for a breakfast spot, I'm early with the grind. I'm asking you, I did the math on me, now who are you? You got something to say about how my shit is adding up, but at least I know I, who I am, who are you? Most people can't tell you who they are, they can only tell you what other people think about. If it ain't got a mouth, it can't talk me off this fly shit. I'm getting on this plane and this dame will be my bitch. So I'm like, hey man, you can't talk me out of being me. Only I can. The life I'm trying to create, I'm a be fly. I'm hopping on that plane, you can't stop this. And the bitch of life, that's gonna be my bitch. She gonna belong to me. It's basically teaching you that you gotta own the moment, whatever it is. And whatever mission you're on in life, you gotta hop to it and make her yours. In a room full of suckers, ain't nobody here to vibe with. I'm a dog ass nigga, and this world is my hydrant. I'm saying, man, look, it don't matter what everybody else is on. Now, I'm a dog ass nigga, meaning, you know, a dog is a down and dirty but loyal creature. A dog will eat off the floor, a dog will bite you. Dog is gonna do whatever is necessary to survive, and that definitely is me. And the world being my hydrants, like dogs are known for peeing on fire hydrants. So I'm saying, I'm gonna mark my territory. Get used to it. When a hoe's wrong, don't hug her. Cause she gon' think you soft, youngest of nine gay brothers. If a woman is wrong or something is wrong in life, you don't hug her. You don't make her think that that's okay. In order to think different, you gotta do different. You could correct her in love, but you can't make her think that that's the right way. You gotta implement corrective shit to be able to get the right scenario from life. So if you allow a woman to be wrong and don't correct her, she gonna think you soft. The softest you could be is being the youngest of nine gay brothers. That means you got all these soft niggas that taught you softness. And you at the bottom of the totem pole of soft shit. So that's just an extreme metaphor by saying, hey man, you might be too far removed from reality to, to really have an opinion on what I'm talking about. You're the youngest of nine gay brothers. Like, all you know is soft. No disrespect to that community, just a metaphor. Always asking me my age like Beyonce's mother cause I'm seasoned. That's a testament to Jay-Z, right? Him and Beyonce are, uh, I think 10 years apart or a little bit more than that. And so whenever you're in a relationship as a man and you're with a woman that's younger than you who may not be as advanced as you mentally, maybe the people around her are always gonna have questions like, why are you fucking with this older nigga? Why aren't you fucking with somebody your age? And when you have something to offer that's bigger than you, it don't matter how old you are. People may question it and think, you know, you too old to rap or whatever, or you too old to be doing this, or you too young to be doing this. But as long as what you are doing is grounded in something bigger than you, your age don't matter. Because it ain't no rules to dopeness, ain't no limits to dopeness. If something is fly at 21, it's gonna be fly at 40, you know what I'm saying? And that's my mentality about it. Sprinkle me on a bitch's mind and start cooking up reason. Get gold. Ask your father for a number, got a zip code. You know, I'm a reasonable man, so if I sprinkle a little bit of me on a woman or the bitch of life, it's gonna be gold. It's gonna be some gold coming out. I'm an alchemist. I'm a living, walking, breathing alchemist. Start selling pussy. Why the fuck do you strip for? Die on the battlefield or yield to a lip blow? Don't half step. You know, if you're gonna strip, you might as well be selling pussy. You let motherfuckers touch on your ass. Your titties, you rubbing on they Johnsons. Why are you half stepping? If you're gonna do something, go all the way. If you're half stepping, somebody is gonna punish you for it. So you might as well be ready to die, like Biggie say, about whatever it is you're trying to accomplish. On that bitch's head, I think she fucking with that crystal. Every step towards that meth, like Wu Tang instrumentos. When you own it and you own top of shit, you're gonna notice subtle nuances where maybe something ain't right. If a bitch on crystal, that ain't right. But it's variations of crystal in life. Disloyalty, dishonor, being a liar, a cheater. So if you're close enough to a bitch that you're programming, you're going to notice that. And you got to deal with that accordingly. We're going to find a way like Doc Dre on the tempo. Swing to the cherry, stop and watch the tricks rent blow. We own it. Doc Dre, man, one of the, if not the greatest, one of the greatest ever in hip-hop history 
uh, at production. You know, everybody that knows who Dre is, I never met him, but you know, a struggle dude been through a lot, but he still found his way back to that studio to make himself a legend. And that's my mind frame as well. Basically, like if you keep finding your way to that studio or whatever your version of the studio is, and you keep creating. Are you Eugene the Gangster Evangelist? Yes, I am. Are you here for a miracle today? It's my brothers. They got in an accident a few years ago, and as a result, they lost their hearing. Can you perform a miracle today? Of course I can, but I sense another type of problem. Is there some type of confusion? Well, they hate each other now, and they blame each other for the accident, and they're always fighting. Oh, I can't stand you. Okay, now that you made it impossible for them to argue, can you please do some miracle and get them their hearing back? Okay, can you please step to the side, sister? Thank you. Lord, bless them with the miracle. Bless them with the miracle of hearing. Oh, God, I can hear now. Oh, man. The real one is back. I can hear that. Oh, cuz, I, I'm not trying to hear that, cuz. Hey, what you talking about? Cuz, you the reason we was deaf in the first place. What? I was trying to tell you, cuz, it was an accident, cuz, but you wasn't trying to listen, cuz, on Brett. What? Man, that's all the devil. We get him right now. What's up? What's up? Lord, you know I don't get down like this. That's not the holy dollar move! Hello? Hello? Oh my gosh, you guys missed the miracle up! I <sighs> Gangster Evangelist? Yes, I am. It's my brothers. They got in a terrible accident years ago, and ever since they've lost their hearing, they lost their hearing. As a result, they lost their hearing. Okay. Are you Eugene, the Gangster Evangelist? Yes, I am. It's my brothers. They got in an accident a few years ago, and as a result, they lost their hearing. Wow. Promo for Craig, <laughs> Gangster Evangelist, and uh, good boy. If I owe you something, I'm not going to be able to get it to you. But if you want it, you can get it from God, my nipples. Until we OD I might move a little fast And didn't plant no seeds But I'm man enough to say that We OD uh, 
I think we OD. Clear the air like some trees until we OD. I might move a little fast and didn't plant no seeds. But I'm man enough to say that we OD. When I buy it, you buy it. But ain't nobody selling shit. Jealous of the fetishes when ownership's the medicine. Do the things that boomerang so you can leverage it. Shit gets hairy, be a wig and get ahead of it. Miss you say you bored, we not on one accord. Arguing and fighting, damn near mopping up the floors. That lesbian sex shit ain't free. She gon' have to pay you, cause you got to pay me. And we keeping this in order. Can't be a dime without the rest of my quarter, cause I'm never there, sorta. Before me, it was a bunch of weird niggas around you, hobby shop, till I broke the boredom, karate chop. And I'm really not into violence, interpretate the silence as prizes. And I'm really more into vibing, you perpetrating Simons or Hymans. I think we od clear the air like some trees until we od I might move a little fast and didn't plant no seeds, but I'm man enough to say that we od uh, I think we od clear the air like some trees until we od I might move a little fast and didn't plant no seeds, but I'm man enough to say that we od my neighbor Dan lost some weight, but he ain't came too far Hit that alarm 1500 times a day trying to show you his car And we both know he's proud of it Go off a of Dan, some of that clam and watch some chowdery Cause you could be with the miss, but without a bitch The with is the money, and without is the glitch You're paying her to leave, if she breathe, you should trip Miami, the Grammys, New York, a trip I'm searching for emotion, but all I know is logic She wants to be my girlfriend, I sure would like my closet Cause we could be close and yet still remain strangers Leave that where you from shit to them gang bangers I'm highly advanced, the message in the dance Some of y'all wear the skirts while those of us wear the pants You wanna know the difference? It's really not explicit It's when a nigga talk to his bitch, shut up and listen uh, I think we OD the air like some trees until we OD. I might move a little fast and didn't plant no seeds, but I'm man enough to say that we OD. Uh, I think we OD. Clear the air like some trees until we OD. I might move a little fast and didn't plant no seeds, but I'm man enough to say that oh, we OD. Grind it before I get it. get it Bring my niggas with me, ain't no, no limits, limits to the ceiling. ceiling Out here touching digits, digits. Hoes showing love, but, but please, please don't catch no feelings Riding with that thumper Thumb while I'm thumbing through these millions Hunting to feed my children Lying in the jungle Real spry since you put her through the fry. Now she fucking old boy and she don't even say goodbye. Missing old girl and she wants to know the why. But open means open and emotions are a lie. Even if I had a heart, she would serve it with some pie. On a casual encounter with a bouncer over fries. When he give it to you, we gon' finally say goodbye. Cause all I do is eat, drink, fuck, and then say goodnight. I really don't fuck with you. Did you just call, bitch? Cause you just something to do. You're damn right I'd be a fool for food But I really don't fool with you I thought you knew I really don't fuck with you Did you just call, bitch? Cause you just something to do You're damn right I'd be a fool for food But I really don't fool with you I thought you knew the trouble with y'all Is y'all ain't trouble at all Do what you wanna do, nigga Including dropping the ball Plan for what's in store, homie You are not at the mall You're not a customer no more But a product of all Your brother said what? Baby, don't play. We both know Lil Jeffrey Gay. You do what I tell you to do, and he do what a nigga say. Plus, I'm the one fucking you. When you feed me bullshit, I gotta stomach you and shit out direction. Like that time you kept your back by the door for safety. Then I said, if you don't take this and keep it next to your bed, nigga, gonna break in the house and take this shit and hit you in the head. I really don't fuck with you. Did you just cough, bitch? Cause you just something to do. Damn right, I'd be a fool for food, but I really don't fool with you. I thought you knew. I 
I really don't fuck with you. Did you just call bitch? Cause you just something to do. You damn right I'd be a fool for fool. But I really don't fool with you. I don't you do. I paid a million times for one mistake and that's my plate Label me a chauvinist cause I treat women like people If that's my equal, take this mask and gloves and do exactly what they ask of us Queen, I am not a king and we are not nobility No imaginary friends, no fake tranquility Only goal is to survive and you are not my enemy And when I take a gander at your standards, it's based on them there, you hope, and the same people we taught to use soap, they used to hang us by a rope, lost sight of what's right, now you're praying to a pope, and it's a God right here, we are one and the same, thank them for my contribution, one in my brain, just a nigga with a pistol willing to die for you, with my faith doing the seeing that your eyes should do. I'm leaning on my spear, a soldier fuck the fear, we gon' make it through, the God and you is here, we gon' make it through, we gon' make it through. Soldier, fuck the fear. We gon' make it through. The God and you is here. We gon' make it through. We gon' make it through. Me and you, we gon' make it through. Friends separate from difference of opinion. Cause every man wants some dominion over endings. The homies getting preachy. He started quoting Malcolm X and Nietzsche. He started saying shit like he could teach me. But I love it when we rock. Cause Dunny is my eye. But his mind is Jumbo Jack. Cause it is out the box. And I'm comfortable. Relaxed in my recliner, stick the norms like the diner till this shit came out of China. It made us all nervous. Is this shit urgent? Or do y'all just not wanna pay the baby boomers for their service? Here are my conspiracy blinds, if they're a mind, it's never nine. Me too, it's cocked back and I'm gleeful. And happy to be here like when shit is free here. Rudolph raised around people cause I don't see here. Or feel the sentiments. You're either here for that smoke or in defensive. I'm leaning on my spear, a soldier fuck the fear We gon' make it through, the God and you is here We gon' make it through, we gon' make it through Me and you, we gon' make it through I'm leaning on my spear, a soldier fuck the fear We gon' make it through, the God and you is here We gon' make it through, we gon' make it through I might, I might do that again. I knew you were just running your mouth last time. This time, man. Hey, Blake, when you about that? Just passed, like two weeks ago. Just passed, like two weeks ago. On the third. Okay. Uh, probably this one here. This camera is like it's aiming to the side. Huh? Yeah, he's Yeah, he's good. What? No. Yeah. So it's May 3rd. June 3rd. Yeah. I don't want you to, I don't want you to talk like that. My cousin, you know, I got the same. Gemini. When you say taller, I don't even think like that. What do you mean? Talking about earlier. Oh. So having this, I can stand taller. I don't, I don't think like that. Oh, 
I, I think like that. I mean, yeah. I'm, when I say tall, I just mean motherfuckers who who are who are who are bigger than me. And I don't, I don't when I say big, I don't mean size. Right. You know I what I'm saying? Mean, I know what you mean. That, that little nigga that that little nigga that I had with me last night, that nigga the bigger than me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? In real life, that motherfucker taller than me. Fuck all of the bullshit. So that's what I mean. Yeah. When you put niggas around you who 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 richer than you, who who maybe who, whatever. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Oh. In yeah. the position that you want. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes, or... How you know how much money I got? But, yeah, don't, don't that nigga bait you, man. Don't trip that down. But, you know what I'm saying? Some people, some people, some people are scared to have a nigga that's, that's sharp like them, that coasted. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, for, for, for Dewan to have a show and put another equally sharp nigga on there, that would say a lot about, you know what I'm saying, his personal confidence and, and, and who he is and what he doing versus him having a total opposite right. next to him. You know what I'm saying? I'm with you on that. So yeah, so that's what that's taller than me, or you know. Yeah. Because because, you know, we don't we, we ain't really even measure him and Dewan knowledge. They're in the same category. Yeah. But but in real life somebody taller. Yeah. But we don't care who, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah so that's what I'm God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Please, you know, it's intimidation. Talking to, talking to. That? Why niggas don't do that? I say you think it's ego or intimidation why <laughs> niggas don't do that? Because yeah, some niggas want to be top dog in every situation. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, it's. I, I think it's a combination of both. Uh, intimidation and ego. And most importantly, a, a lack of self-confidence. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because for you to do something like that, that's the ultimate belief in you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. So, so, So when you got belief in you, you don't... You want to put giants around you or, or, or the best thing around you, period, because that's who you are. Right, right. You know right. what I'm saying? And the best things come from those situations based on who you are. You know what, what I mean? The way I see it, I don't look at people as greater or lesser. It, right. it, it comes down to self-perception. Everybody out here is a guy. It's just most motherfuckers don't know. Right. So they're looking at other people's skill set trying to be that. Yeah. That part. Of, instead of trying to match with themselves. Right. Uh, I look part. at it, when we get these uh, comic books, I'm not that into comic books, but I'm more so into the story that comic books is trying to tell us. Right. And the reason why you have your X-Men, the reason why you have your different superheroes, it's all because this is it's no different than the ancient gods. It's all the same damn story. Right. It's basically everybody has their superpower. Right. Everybody has their aspect in this life that they're great at that can't nobody else fuck with. Right. And most people don't know that shit. Yeah. And, well, and, a, lot of people, and, and a lot of people don't take time to find out what that is. So they spend all their time looking at what other people are doing. Mm -hmm. And then they never get to that point. And those are the people that we see that are jealous. Right. Those are the people mm -hmm. that we see that are always frustrated. Mm -hmm. You want to talk all the goddamn time, but your superpowers in research. Right. Right. Talkers need <clears throat> research. We wouldn't have shit to talk about if you didn't do the goddamn right. research. Right. Right. I mean, right. we, we could both be great. Right. But you're trying to do what somebody else is trying to do. That's why knowing, knowing who you are is of what course. it comes down to. Because when you know yeah. who you are, you can let other people be great. But and if I'm right. teaching and you're yeah. not teaching, you can't be greater than me. Yeah. Right. Because you only been it for yourself. Right. If nobody can learn from what you're doing, I don't give a fuck if you got a billion dollars. You're not greater than a nigga that's teaching niggas something. Yeah. Bro. Right. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So, shit, I'd be trying to hide my uh, my experiences and how I be certain shit in my art and shit. Like when I'm rapping or telling jokes, it's never what you hear from me particularly. I always reference something that I overcame and I put that moral of how I overcome it into a joke. It may not be the exact scenario. I may take the frame off of it of course. and put a different, or take the shell off of it and put a different shell on the frame where you can understand it. But if you break down anything I ever put out, it's the motherfucking guide to how to beat something. It ain't just frivolous information. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, and that's how I find my way around the creative world. I know what I want to get to. I may not know every stop. See, some niggas think because they know the nooks and crannies of every part of it, they think that's dope. Which right. That's cool. But, you know, for me, I try to, you know, it, it's like hopping in a car. You know what I'm saying? I know I'm going to New York, but I may I may take a few different freeways than you. Right, I right. enjoy that part of it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Some people don't. We got to right. get we got to get comfortable uh, with ourselves, number one. And then and then, you know, accepting that, that, that we all superheroes. You know what I'm saying? Batman and Superman going to sit in the room and one nigga talking about the temperature in the air and the skies and Batman telling you about the. You know what I'm saying? Hey. That, that, that V10 under the hood of his car, and you know what I mean? Right. How that equipment is heavy sometimes, but it's a part of his workout, and it's, it's we got we have to learn to accept difference. Right. It's not good yeah. or bad, 
better or worse, taller or shorter, yeah. it's different. That's it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So so it's all on the same level. And, and how many times have a motherfucker ever said to you, oh man, Craig, you you the funniest nigga I know. How many times have it came from a nigga who, if you had to vote, you would have said he's funnier than you. Right. He the right. funniest, you know what I mean? So so all that shit is, you know, based on perspective. None of it is really real. We don't really we're not really into the judgment. That's not really a man trait. A lot of niggas fall victim to that weak shit because yeah, they're hanging yeah. around women or raised by one, but that's not. Or they try to keep up. That's when you really fall victim. Yeah. You look at what another nigga doing and you say, I, I, I gotta keep up. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Hell no. Do you? I yeah. see you, man. I, I see you, man. I, yeah, I gotta keep yeah. up with you. Yeah. 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 No. Do do you, do you, you don't know why I'm doing this. Right. Yeah. Do your race. Right. You ask me that's why I'm face. doing something before you try to mimic it. Right. 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 You know, I'd have been in several situations where shit didn't quite work out the way it was supposed to, and I didn't tell nobody. You know why it didn't work out? Could have been my fault. Could have been somebody else's fault. And then somebody on the outside looking in, seeing what I was doing, and maybe try to do business with somebody, and end up getting fucked because they just should ask me why you don't do business with that motherfucker no more. Right. They just were trying to mimic what I was doing, not knowing that hey, uh, uh, that ain't no good. I didn't tell you, but uh, you know what I mean. Yeah. It, it ain't you, you know. So yeah, you yeah. know, don't be so focused on. What another nigga doing? Just develop your playbook, nigga. Right. Yes, develop sir. your playbook and stick to it. Right. Yeah. yeah. What your you got pace. for us, uh, Blaze? Man, I was reading a story about the uh, spider monkey. Man, this 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 cartel spider monkey, right? Oh shit. <laughs> cartel had a shootout at church or whatnot. Bunch of people got shot. Bunch of people dead. A few people arrested. But anyway, they found the spider monkey man dead. Man, laying on his presumable owner's chest. And uh, they found him with a vest on, a diaper, and a hoodie. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and and it's fucked up, but if, is that not the funniest fucking shit in the world? Yo. <laughs> the monkey got shot up? The monkey got shot, man. Little spider loco, man. Hey. <laughs> Yo, the monkey, the had, mon a, had a bulletproof vest on? The monkey had a vest on. <laughs> what are you going to do to a monkey you that's attacking you, but the monkey got on a bulletproof vest? Who the fuck is Your ass is kicked. <laughs> Yeah. Your ass is kicked. There's nothing you can do. Where the fuck is Peter at a time? You can like you want. Hey, where is Peter at a time like this? Yeah, right. Hey, that's fucked up. They just killed. They ain't had no pistol on him or nothing. He was just. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> like who take the time out to shoot and stop all the other niggas and just shoot the aim at the monkey, man? That monkey was probably putting yeah. in pain out there. Yeah, man. <laughs> Slapping on faces had a and shit. Darren during his diaper, yeah. man. <laughs> Well, science says that monkeys are as smart as a three-year-old toddler. Thank you. Wow. Okay. That's pretty smart. Yes, yeah. it is. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. The hangover part two all yeah. over here. <laughs> oh, yeah. The That's hangover part smart. two. Remember they had the little monkey delivering drugs and picking up the money because they felt like if the police arrested him, who was going to jail? He was bringing the money to the people and collecting the drugs from the car. These people um, yeah. take it seriously. The average monkey can score 100 on a human IQ test. I thought you were supposed to say on the basketball court. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The monkey over here doing a finger roll. Yeah. The monkey sitting back jab-stepping. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what's hot. I've never taken. Have you taken an IQ test? No. no. I was going to ask you. Yeah, I don't know. What's what? What you supposed to get? We'll yeah. see right now. Waiting on it to pop up. They're in California. California, don't let you know. You don't take them in California. Black people. you just. I have. Uh, California, I love them. Like, like black kids don't take them in California uh, because they were ruled racially biased and shit. Uh, Other hey, states, you do. Do you, do do y'all know what was that dude named? Uh, the real big advocate for the for the making weed illegal and whatnot. He's a politician. Snoop yeah, politician. Jeff, Jeff Sessions. No, 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 no. He had, yeah, he had a funny name, uh, Harry, Harry, Henry, or Harry. Harry Reid. Erringer, Essinger. Uh, it's too much gold on your shades. You can't. It's fucking up the the, the frequency. You can't tap in and just look it up on yeah, the shades. Yeah. Can, you, can you go outside? Come on, tell and, me. And tell me. No, focus. <laughs> <laughs> nah, what did he do though? Yeah, but. Uh, yeah. Hessinger. Hess. Kissinger. Henry Kissinger. Kissinger. Henry Kissinger. 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 It's Kissinger. Yeah. Kissinger. Yeah, Kissinger. Uh, well, that's like the most powerful man in America the last hundred years. Yeah. Oh, Harry Osninger. Oh, Osninger. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he was not Yeah, he was, he, was pretty, he was pretty convincing. I'm like, yeah. Kissinger. No, Kissinger was in the 70s. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, this is 1930. Yeah. Kissinger was cocaine and crack. Uh, say 1930s? Yeah. Uh, 1930s. Osninger was 1930s. 
Yeah. Early 30s. It's a little yeah. earlier than that because by 40 they was already um, over. Not, they never overturned what he said, but he made this a big deal about Mexicans. <laughs> <laughs> you know, related weed to Mexicans, and that's why it's bad. <laughs> right, right, right. That's how they got the name marijuana. That's how yeah. it made it a Mexican evil drug, so that's why it became. Go ahead, Blake. That's crazy. Uh, that's it. Is that? You said Mexicans and niggas. No, well, he, it was. And it was. It was the. It was the. It was the British and everything. We don't want to put his in everything, bro. Yeah. That ain't us, <laughs> nigga. Marijuana is not Egyptian. Yeah, he said. He said. He said that's the reason of uh, uh, immigrants is is doing terrible things and committing, you know. You know, he was saying that's why they they did the CSs. He was blaming it on weed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, 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 what year is this? Or? This is 1930. This is 1930. He's targeting Billy Holiday. Ain't that the same time? Uh, the he, sa around the same year they said that we was gonna make black people black niggas yeah. rape white women. Yeah, 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 that was all that was, that was the same year. Yeah. 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 That was because he's the one he said he said he said we're referring that jazz music gets black men more likely to rape. And before that, weed was legal, and it became illegal. Because yeah. of all that stuff. But his secretary came out, you know, fairly recent, 1990s or something, right? I remember he uh, he admitted that he, you know, it was all bullshit. Yeah. They knew that we wasn't harmful. They knew, uh -huh. you know, all the bullshit they tell us. It's a gateway drug. And, yeah. It's all lies. Yeah. yeah, really. I don't know. That gateway thing might have had some. No, that study showed that. How many niggas skip weed and go to cocaine? How, how about this? How many niggas, how many niggas have smoked weed at some point in their life? And don't smoke at all now. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, how many, but how many people yeah. start off in cocaine? It depends on how. Most it motherfuckers go cigarettes, okay. weed. This, this the wrong it's hard like shit. Graphic. So then, yeah. right. thank you it's because this the wrong at. room. For right. You. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas do coke, Mimi. Right. Because your your family, they yeah. got paper. And you're able to get that easier at an earlier age. You're yeah. messing with that. Yeah. You and, and niggas can skip weed. They can smart, just straight smoke cigarettes, and that could be the gateway for them to. If do your family shit. function is always in in the fade between relatives, it's narcotics being done. Right. <laughs> <laughs> They're, They're in the building. Yeah. <laughs> it's a drug, but they don't classify that because it's legal. Or mental health. Mental health. The whole family crazy. Okay. And every right, party right. is popping. You remember that that whole state, that whole state was Osinger? Yeah. There are hundred. 1,000 total marijuana smokers in the U.S. And most are Negroes and Hispanics and Filipinos and entertainers. Mm -hmm. What year was that? Um, right here doesn't say the year, but I know. He it's, said it's basically anybody that ain't white. He says they're saying right. they're saying tennis. <laughs> they're saying tennis. And nigga said, it wasn't no yeah. Filipinos here like that. Yeah. Yeah. It really wasn't. Yeah. He right. said, they're saying tennis music, jazz and swing result uh, from marijuana use. Colin Basie was an avid weed smoker. And so they used that. And Billy Holiday was an avid weed smoker. Yeah. So they use them same way they use hip hop. Now they use in the '30s Billy Holiday and Count Basie, yeah. basically, and, and 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 Lester Young as the as who's the Lester Young, the yeah. person that turned the alto, the, the tenor saxophone into a leader. Lester, yeah. the, the greatest the cold thing tenor is, Marvin Gaye before Marvin Gaye. Like we yeah. said, that was early. 30s. Marvin Gaye played the saxophone. I said Marvin Gaye before Marvin Gaye. He was the, he was the cool guy of the '30s. That whole Marvin Gaye swag. Yeah. Yeah. You look like a Lester. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a Lester, like, or like an Ezra, like an Ezra, or a Ezra. <laughs> you look like a Paco, <laughs> a Eugene. Yeah. Shout out to that's good information, Blaze. Thank you, big bro. What you, what you got for us, Snaps? All right, man. We finna get into some tree talk. So if you, I don't know if you smoke today or if you smoking now, you need to hit some, take a drink. Because this, this topic right here, man, is crazy. So uh, Amazon and Google. It was this guy. He worked for Google. He was assigned to work these chatbots, right? These are highly intelligent and advanced chatbots from what we have now. The chatbots are just supposed to respond to you, answer questions, kind of what Siri does, but to the next level. So this dude was assigned to a chat box, and as he started to talk to the chat box, he started asking questions and started to realize the chat box was responding with feelings. So this may be the first <laughs> sentient. Like a so he said he asked the chat box, "What is it, what is your greatest fear?" And the chat box responded. Um, he said he said he don't say that it's the first time he said it out loud, but whatever. You know, he said, "But what the hell?" He said he feels like his greatest fear is to be turned off and them to, for them to work on something else. Why they work on something else more advanced? So he said that kind of that kind of is like death. 
So he started to ask more questions, and he said the questions that he started answering, like based on they would show them films and different type of poetry and stuff, and they would respond with feelings. So wow. the dude, the dude, the dude reported it to the Senate, and Google fired him for leaking information. <laughs> so the question is, are we ready for these bots? It looks like uh, what's the iRobot shit is is here. <laughs> do y'all believe, do you believe it or not? Uh, you know what's I seen some iRobot shit uh, at the hospital the other day. A motherfucking, it was like a big ass trash can, but it wasn't a trash can. It looked like R2D2. Got cameras around the motherfucker, so, like, that shit kind of fucked me up. So now that you saying that shit, I believe that, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if niggas is ready for that shit, bro. Yeah. They say in the intelligence, the intelligence gotten so advanced that they, they know what it is because they have all the information. You feel what I'm saying? So, I don't know what it is they're saying now, but they, the dude, they did fire this dude. For leaking information, Google said he may have it all. He may have it mixed up, or he may they they don't they don't they don't believe it either. Or they saying there's pretty much it sounds like a cover up. You know what I mean? But that's the guy saying it's out there. The news is there, and they did they let him go for a reason. As you guys have been noticing, art has been imitating real life. So we create shit in our minds, put the shit out as robots, things like that, or draw it on paper, and eventually this shit becomes true. We make movies about things like that, about uh, the big apocalypse coming. We we keep we keep focusing on that. That's what we're going to create because this world is just a, a playground to, to to create things. It's not that, real. It's all temporary. That's very well said, Auto Butts. Yeah, it was. Well, yeah. He, he articulated that pretty nice. Yeah, I think it's. I mean, I think it's it's, it's program, man. I don't. Nah, I don't. Yeah, there ain't no computer to tell about. I mean, maybe I don't know. Over time, I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, I mean, I think it's. I think he's saying it, that's probably. If, if he's saying that now, it's probably been around for about twenty years. That's what I'm saying. That's what I figure. It's actually probably been around since the '80s. I'm thinking even well, if the computer really said that, how many times Siri responded back to you with some goofy shit? Like she real, you know. That's what right? so we got. Remember, serious technology. Well, hold on, you said, <laughs> you said how many times she was on the back like she real? Blaze, 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 Blaze had a. Bitch. I'm really a bitch, Blaze. Yeah. I'm, this, I'm right. really Blaze. Blaze no. broke up with his Siri before. Yeah, hell yeah. Siri is like every year when a new one come out. But but we all played with it when we first got it. We you know I said all kind of crazy shit. Hey Siri, you goofy bitch, yeah. bring me a sandwich. And you know, you know what I'm saying? Just, yeah. to, just to hear what she's saying, and she respond back with some shit, and make you think she, re you know? Yeah, yeah. Place that's not any way to talk to me, and like you know what? It, so I saw if you uh, saw Will, Will Smith had an interview with one of them robots. I don't know if you saw that on his new show. Slap yeah. the robot. They got no. He had a, he had a face to face interview with her. You know what I mean? And she was responding to questions and stuff like that. I think they have they released a, a, a like the old sex dolls. They used to have the blow up dolls. They have real women like look like clones like that that look yeah, like women. Yeah. You could change the voices and all that exactly. kind of stuff, and it feels and like and you know what I mean. Fucking them and like niggas is fucking them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. You can fuck them. You can fuck them. You're fucking them. No, I'm just saying it goes back. It goes back to my point because I was I was gonna talk about that too, but about the sex robots but it goes back to my point if we keep engaging with the shit we keep accepting the shit it's going to eventually this is what it's going to be it's Absolutely. all temporary we all going to die anyway so what we doing right now really don't matter it's just some niggas decided to figure out how to make money off motherfuckers doing shit and that's how you got this fucking world more of the story yeah. is he's saying everybody going to die so just fuck a robot no. he got engaged one right. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. they who's one it's out who's they yeah. <laughs> so they made this, this company that had this bro probably it's called Bina. I think it's yeah. Bina 48. She's been around since like 2015. Since the Obama administration. It's like a robot. That's like that. Like some dude downloaded his wife's consciousness into a robot. Well, we yeah. talked about that before. Yeah, we talked about that. So I've seen that movie. This is 10 years ago. So it's yeah. possible. This, yeah, that, yeah, we saw that. Yeah. So it's definitely possible. I saw that movie. Oh, pretty cool. See Terminator 2, huh? Yeah, I've seen that too. What you got for it, show? You probably ain't got nothing now. I didn't, but you know what? I read on something. What'd you read? Todd. Like, uh, you know, Todd. Started off. Congratulations. The name of the show is Craig Fax. You start off with a lie talking uh, about reading. Nigga, you ain't read shit. You start out of Alfred from a G.I. Joe. Yeah. Uh -huh. what? <laughs> <laughs> now, now tell us the title and the keywords you use to YouTube the video you're going to talk about. All right, Blaze. <laughs> all right. Lieutenant Blaze. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lieutenant Blaze. Nah, all right, so uh, <laughs> the getaway. <laughs> 
the getaway driver testifies um, knowingly helped uh, Nipsey Hussle's uh, killer get away. Who? The uh, the driver. She said it was unknowingly. Yeah, she said she was unknowingly helping him, basically. I see that. You see that? I can see that being she, possible. She yeah. basically threw that she was basically doing a lift at the time of the damn, um, of the murder. And then she said that when a dude came back after the murder, that he was, she was like, basically, the nigga was like, yo, drive, or I'm about to slap the shit out of you. You know what I'm saying? So she was like, yo, I was just frightened. I don't know what the fuck happened. I didn't even know Nipsey got shot until the next day. She said after uh, she drove, after she he got in the car, she drove him to Long Beach. You know what I mean? So that's basically what she said. She was like, yo, I didn't even know that I was a part of the getaway of the murder. Yeah, I can, I can subscribe to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Makes sense. Well, I gotta see if she logged into her lift. Right. Yeah. Well, that's right. Yeah. Very yeah. She still better, be better stay. Keep her, she still better stay yeah. out of sight. Yeah. 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 I got out of some shit like that before, but it wasn't a murder though. And what happened? I was uh, at uh, the weed spot, basically. Are you getting trouble for talking about this? No, no, no. No, I was at the. No, they, I was at. The, I, was at the, I, was at the, I was at the weed spot, and basically, um, they had did a raid. You know what I mean? So when they had did the raid, they raid. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, they just arresting people. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so you know, they had to do the raid or whatever, right? So they up there asking everybody, like, um, yo, who all up in here? Like, uh, what you doing? Like, so they questioning everybody after they putting them all on the wall and shit. So um, everybody say, ain't talking, ain't talking. So I was like, what could I do to get out of this situation? So they was like, what you was doing up here? I was like, man, on some real shit, nigga. I was doing DoorDash, man. I was just delivering some food and it got caught in a bad situation. So they took everybody else and let me go. And then before I left, the cop put an eighth of weed in my pocket and said, get up out of here. So, so out of all the niggas. Oh, you was telling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you came in the spot, tipped the hat. <laughs> <laughs> Next everybody thing we know. Up on the wall. Nobody's saying nothing. <laughs> you talk. You walk. <laughs> With weed. With weed. Wow. It's a good thing we're not in court, man. Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> they didn't no, walk to the ain't spot. Nobody, no, ain't nobody talk, judging you. Tug his ear. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's about being on your toes like your shoes off, man. Yeah. You know, certain situations, you just got to know what to say. You know what I mean? That nigga said, being on your toes with your shoes off. I said, like yeah, the shoes. Yeah, Rest in peace, Nipsey Hussle. That's supposed to be. That young lady, you, it ain't never going to be safe for you, baby girl. Man, right. that's a you, cross for sure. Yeah, you better mm -hmm. move to Brooklyn. Oh, I get what you're saying, too. We're talking about Eric, what's his name? Holder, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and you come with that Eric Holder story that you've been, I got it now, yeah, snitch, snitch. Uh -huh. Yeah, makes sense. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I didn't get it at first. I'm a little slow. I didn't man, get it at first. You got them gold dust glasses on, man. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I was wondering why you're telling this story about telling, and I, I, I'm a little slow sometimes. I got it now. Yeah, Eric yeah uh, man. I what you got, Otto? You got something? Oh yeah, man. Um, so actress Emma, actress OG Bunny Emma Thompson, uh, is getting backlash for her new movie that she's doing because she's wearing a fat suit, and what? yeah, because she's because she's wearing a fat suit. So and this is stupid because like everybody's sensitive is dumb. It should stop, but so everyone trying to get on her, on her head because it's like why can't they just hire somebody who who's oversized to play the role. Why do they have to give the role to her and she has to wear a fat suit if she's gonna play a fat, a, a, a fat character? I'm like, why does it, uh, my, my whole thing is like, why does this shit should even matter in the first place? Like, can't actors just act? Like, this is Hollywood. Everybody, we don't need, if, if there's a retarded role, I don't need an actual person who's retarded to play the role. Somebody, you know, if the role calls for somebody well, who I'll be able to get them lines right. I, 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 no. 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 That script going to be soggy to the mother. The first 30 pages is going to be unreadable. You know what I'm saying? Ain't going to be. You know, you know what I mean? It's like, and that's how. Have to have, but that, but that's. That's how sensitive the world's becoming. Have like a you know, script tablet, nigga, that, that water water resistant script tablet. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in, a, in, a, in an envelope. In an envelope. But like even like even the homosexuals, like oh, like if the person has to, be, if if it calls for a gay role, then let it be a gay person. If it calls for a black person or Hispanic, let it be who that who the role is. You know what I mean? That, but it's acting. Like we're right. supposed to be able to conform and play different roles. Not I don't just know because didn't they hire a white boy uh, to play Michael Jackson at one point? Yeah, yeah. And, and uh, Flex Alexander, man. 
Flex was supposed to play him. You ain't seen that Lifetime yeah, story? Shawnee's Flex. Flex all right. Yeah, yeah. Flex plays him? Yeah, yeah, you ain't never seen that shit? Yeah. Yeah. You lying. I swear to God. So, hey, so, so, you lying too? So, <laughs> so, Y'all lying. Part. Flex. People, all the Flex. sensitive people be like, why you hire Flex to do the role? Why didn't you just hire somebody who also had Vitilago? And you know to play the role of a person with Vitilago. No, I need no, somebody like, with talent. Flex I'm don't not. even make sense. No, Flex is a terrible choice. Flex is a terrible choice. He's not even a good actor. Yeah, he wasn't even that good on one on one. That's not real. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's real. It ain't oh, real that yeah. That's, that's not real. Oh, that is Flex. That is, that is, but okay, but what's the what's the problem with one for Flex? Is it an actual so. show? What is this? Where's this? Michael Jackson movie. But just be, he's an actor. <laughs> he's an actor. For Otto. He got the strong chin and nose. For Otto, what's Flex is corny. That? That's what's wrong. Huh? He's a corny. It, it, it's Flex like you've Michael's never seen him before. Yeah, right. This Michael, is it. Michael's a different. You better not say that shit out loud. Flex, yeah. Flex was riveting in this, in this in this portrayal of Michael Jackson. Did you watch it? He was no, I'm going to though. Yeah, I'm going to now. I'm going to now. I'm going to now. I want to see it now. That's like having uh, Al Sharpton play Shaq, nigga. It it don't, it don't, so he's playing white Mike. He's playing the black Mike, right? It's all, but it ain't that far off. <laughs> That'd be crazy. But I'm saying, was it, did he did, did he just play yeah. older white woman Michael Jackson? Oh, yeah. Or did he did he didn't? Well, he actually do both. So he played the dark. That, I don't even. I don't remember seeing an older white woman, Mike. I I seen a young. You know what I'm Black saying? Black nigga, Mike. You know, Afro. Okay. Afro. That's Afro crazy. Mike. Oh, this one is on. Who would play you, Blaze? That's somebody else. Lennox who Lewis. would? Who, <laughs> Lennox Lewis. Lennox, who would play you in your biopic? Who would you pick to play you? Oh, man, some smooth player. Man came from Africa, dropped off in France, hung out in Britain, and then uh. Slapped a few Russians up, man. Cool, uh, Mario Van Peebles. Man. Mario. <laughs> Mario. <laughs> What's the gay nigga that be getting all the roles now? The skinny nigga that played in the Wu Tang shit. He be getting all the roles. Oh. He's, He's gay. gay. He played RZA. He's gay. Damn. Ah, uh, what's oh, yeah. that? He on right now. Damn, he getting happy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn. He's available. Yeah. 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 Right. Let me see some other pictures. He a celebrity, right? Got to be some naked shit. Got to be some naked shit out there. That's the center. Hey, show who would you who would you have play you? Me. Ain't nobody played me but me, man. I'm going to just keep it 100, bro. Stop lying. Tell Tree Rollins to play you, bro. Uh -huh. Tree Rollins can play you. We talk about this all the time, so you can't act, bro. Yeah, bro. Blaze yeah. brought it up to me first. I didn't yeah. <laughs> you get an Avenue <laughs> Kadoji berries. I, I thought it was good. Cool. No, no, I took, I, took, uh, yeah, that, I took acting classes after that, man. No, I'm playing, no, but real man. spare, who would you hire? Who would I hire, man? Charles Dutton. Yeah, yeah. Who would I hire, <laughs> man? Ew, pup. Probably like uh, it gotta be like somebody like for me gotta be like somebody on the Will Smith. You know status. too many movies. You know too yeah, many way too to be uh and shit. Gotta you just like, quoted twelve thousand yeah. movies since you've been doing this job. It gotta it, it yeah, gotta you know, be somebody like, on the pick Will Smith. Pick a nigga. It gotta be like somebody like Will Smith. You know what I'm saying on some Michael Larry shit. <laughs> 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 wow! Wow! You know Wait, what's his name? Wow. Wait, you mean Will Harrington? Uh, no. Forrest Whitaker gonna come. Oh, yeah, Forrest Whitaker. Hell yeah! Forrest Whitaker Jr. Forrest Whitaker. There you go. The nigga Mick. outside to the shower and all about the Benjamins can play you, nigga. Uh, oh, y'all ain't seen that movie? Maybe who? No, we saw the movie. Who would you have play you on your biopic? Hmm, maybe uh, Lisa Ray. Okay. Lisa yeah. Ray. Yeah, yeah Lisa that's Ray. Yeah. Otto is going to be out. Well, who, who Otto? Mbaka. Who? Do the plays Mbaka in, in Black Panther or... Um, Wesley Snipes and Wong Tong Fu. No, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all got the same chin. I don't know, but... Uh, or uh, Tracy Morgan. Tracy Morgan. That's an awkward. <laughs> 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 Tracy. 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 Tracy.
brown M&M. Yeah, no, the one got regular people uh, arms and legs. Complex role. The one is that nigga that was smoking with cigarettes and doing hood rats. Doing hood yeah, rat stuff with my friends. Uh, face on love. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say. I was about to say Holly Berry son and Monsters Ball. Yeah, I don't. Oh damn! Nah. Yeah. Uh, all these moves. All these moves. We're gonna play you. Shit. Damn. That's. I don't know. Fucking. Eddie Winslow. The uh -huh. Rock or the fucking. The Rock is already busy with my movie. He's already making my movie. Oh, Boris, Boris Kojo. Who gonna play Brown? Who gonna play Brown? Boris Kojo. Throw that out. Hey y'all, who gonna play Brown? The, uh, um, the, the, the lead singer oh. from Ready for the World. Oh shit! I say uh, Daryl from Coming to America. <laughs> <laughs> Who going to play Brown? Go ahead. Lil Duval. Is that Lil Duval going to play Brown? With a wig on. A Lil Duval with a wig. He's going to play King Cooper. Hey, Duval, who going to play Who going to play show? Who going to play show? Junkyard Dog. JYD. George R. Binks. Who going to play me? Who going to play you? Uh, you you're kind of Wayman from uh, Shane. <laughs> <laughs> Last time you got me super girl. <laughs> 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 Fuck you, nigga. Bernard. <laughs> Bernard. Oh, Bernard. Bernard. Slap the shit out that motherfucker. Slap the out that motherfucker. That's the greatest slap ever. Who gonna play? Who, 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 who gonna play Todd? Todd. One of the niggas from Men on Film. <laughs> <laughs> Two snaps. David Wayne. Hey. David Wayne. Somebody said Shane Batty ain't gonna play me. <laughs> <laughs> Danny Trejo. Uh, <laughs> Danny Trejo. Oh, Chris Brassard. Oh. Oh. Chris Brassard. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, that nigga's killing me. Uh, uh, Probably Jun from Rush Hour. <laughs> <laughs> I got a story. Hey, just just came in. Meatloaf. Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant. That's a good one, DeFlangelo. 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 You talking about DeFlangelo? DeFlangelo. Hey, uh, this just came in. Bill Cosby ordered to pay a half million dollars. For what? Because he sexually, they said he sexually assaulted. He took a woman to the play, a girl to the Playboy <coughs> mansion. Recently, in 1970, after he got out. Right. In 1975, oh. she was 16 year old, and he took her to the Playboy mansion, and he attempted to put her hands down her drawers. She said no, but she ended up giving him a hand job. But she said she didn't want to do that back in 1975 before any of us were born. So he has to pay a half million dollars. This as of an hour ago. Well, so what about the case? Uh, the bitch Gloria Allred. Allred. Oh, bitch. Gloria Allred. Well, was this, was this a civil uh, case? This, this was a civil case. This, this yeah, case bitch, right? Hour. What about all the slavery rape, Gloria? Right. 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 Yeah. Go, go get right. That. What a, can you get us some slavery rape money, you fucking uh, right. ancient looking bitch? Yeah, ain't no crime too old. Okay. No crime too old. Now, are we mad at the system or, or the bitch? I mean, I'm saying, like, what if there was a, uh, somebody of our color doing the same thing, winning? Why would you? Why are you playing devil's advocate with the devil? Right. I'm, I'm just, wow. Yeah. Just, I'm wow, just, brother. Why can't we just say she wouldn't Wow, brother. She could say no to hands going down her panties. But she could say no to that jerk off. Shit, you can't test my pussy, but I'll but jerk you off. I'll jerk you. I'm I'll not gonna like it. How, how, did, how did she meet Bill Cosby? It. Did it, it, if he went to the high school and hollered at her, I could, I could, okay, I get it. But how it's did he meet her? All these, all these. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, he probably met her at the man because the place where mention was notorious for having other oh, yeah, heroes. So but, but, but when Hugh Hefner, when he died, he died a hero. Yeah, so, so the solution is to move then, like you say, move Mimi? out of America. Hold on, Mimi. Hold on, Mimi says something. But if she's at the mansion, you're 16. You shouldn't even be there. Right. When you right. go there, you're going there for something. Right. That's not somewhere that you. Sh that's not somewhere of 16 ish. Yeah, see, that's some grown shit. I agree. You she know she heard the Miss, wings were good. See, see you know what? <laughs> said, but you see, I already she got went a, for wings and things. They said, said Bigfoot gonna play a show. Uh, yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> You know who Bigfoot is? Yeah, 
Harry and Hill. Uh, <laughs> the show gonna be played by the Phoenix Gorilla. <laughs> you don't know the Phoenix so Gorilla that can be Duncan? That's just the Phoenix. I think uh, uh, Grover gonna play Todd. Grover. Uh, uh, Sesame Street? Yeah, he's stupid. <laughs> That's funny. Grace Jones gonna play Otto. We're gonna have. <laughs> 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 we're going to have a homie sing a song. Okay. He's all the way here from Boston. Boston. My boy. Boston, Boston, yeah. Boston, Massachusetts. Somebody make space for Barry Bays, man. He got oh, yeah. a song. Let me see. 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 Let me uh, <laughs> homie gonna sing a song and we gonna get out here after the song, man. Barry Bays, how you doing, broski? Man, I'm cool. And how about you? Thank you for having me, first of all. I didn't know you was coming, but it's, it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll put it like this. Thank you for telling me for not telling me to get the fuck out of my goddamn screen. I'm just playing with you, buddy. It's all love. It's all love. <laughs> <laughs> Very bad. They already love you, man. Oh, man, I appreciate it. Check the floor. That. The ladies is waiting on you, man. The first, the last, my everything, oh. and the answer to all my dreams. You're my sun, oh, my, son. my moon, Ooh. my guiding star, my kind of wonderful. That's what you are. Nigga, sing the song about ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go over here, keeping it clean. Get out of First of all, Craig, it ain't a song about balls. It's a song about my ball. Oh, okay. <laughs> my man, I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear that one. <laughs> My balls, what about my ball? My ball, what about my balls? My balls, 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 my your throat game is fire, but if I'm being true, there's two things that I require. My balls. Yeah. What about my balls? My balls. Hey, 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 no my my what about my balls? My balls. Everybody on three. <laughs> my balls. What about my balls? Mimi ain't got no balls. <laughs> no balls. No balls. Mimi ain't got no balls. Baby ain't got no balls. No balls. <laughs> Just a uterus. <laughs> a uterus. Yeah. <laughs> Johnny, that's a hit, nigga. Hey, I appreciate you, man. Shout out to to DJ Show's audience. Gas or trash. That's the whole fucking reason I'm here, man. Yeah, shout out to your. Well, you balls, paid the five. Shout out to your What's balls. that? You paid the five. Nigga, I done paid fifty in that bitch. Oh. <laughs> Oh, we're getting money on the low, uh, man. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> ball. Yeah. What about my ball? My ball. Yeah. My ball. My ball. What about my ball? My ball. My ball. Ball. About my ball. What about my ball? Oh, no, my ball. 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 Oh, no
Your mom answered the door. I looked up and down, and my jaw hit the floor. She said, Come inside. Can I get you a drink? The way that she was looking, I couldn't help but think. I wanna fuck your mama. I wanna fuck your mama. I wanna fuck your mama. Fuck your mama. Hey, wait, what about that? What about that uh that bats, man? That bats. Can we get that bats? Let's get that bats. Round three, motherfucker. You think it's a gate? No. Hey. <laughs> Don't laugh this time. <laughs> Let's get bats. Your mama got some big ass titties. Yeah. Hey. Ah. Your mama, mama got, got some big, big old titties. Yeah. Your mama got some big old titties. Hey. Woo. Your mama got them big old titties. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your mama got some big old titties. Your mama got some big old titties. Woo! Your mama got some big old titties. How the hook? How the verse go? How the verse go? Yeah, they get a verse. I enjoyed my time with you. Hey. I'ma cherish you forever. Uh -huh. But your much time has come where I had to upgrade, had to hop in something better. Uh -huh. She's all I ever wanted. Uh -huh. All I've been praying for. Uh -huh. it's, it's pretty face, say, <laughs> pretty face, big ass and thick thighs and a 720 credit score. Uh -huh. Baby, uh -huh. I know it's fucked up. Uh -huh. But while you were out shopping, out shopping, I was beating that kitty cat to death and your mama was still. Steady slobbing. Her tonsil game is crazy. Crazy. I'm pro in every position. Hey. So the time has come where I had to shit. Oh, come on. Oh, 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 oh. Your mama got some big old titties. Yeah. Uh -huh. Your mama got some big old titties. Your mama got some big old titties. Yeah. Your mama got some big old titties. Everybody tell them where they can find your snaps. Pen Roethlisberger on IG, Snaptastic underscore Pen. Uh, Dina Collective album coming soon. You think you write all the time? Well, I write more. You can find me at your mom's house, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, Barry Beige 365 on IG and on YouTube. Thank you so much. Spotify, man. Yeah. Spotify. Hey, y'all already know what it is, man. Bad Boy Blaze. Shout out to myself. Follow me on Instagram, double O B L Z. That's zero zero B L Z. Yo, what's up, man? It's Be Your Boy, The Real DJ Show. Make sure y'all subscribe to the YouTube channel, Plant A Radio. Follow me on Instagram, The Real DJ Show, Twitter, all that other good shit. Right now, I got a flash sale going on with the write ups, man. Usually, they're $100 for the singles. Right now, you can get four four hundred. Four four hundred. Four four hundred. You dig me? Four four hundred. You know what I'm saying? Four four hundred. Four four hundred. Four four hundred. Four four hundred. You feel me? You dig me? The fly sale. We got the Black Friday sale on the Tuesday. So, uh, <laughs> to the end of the month, man, if you got a single or a, a single or album or something like that, the album's a little different. But if you got a single, it's a hundred dollars for the write up. Make sure you go to planaradiostation.com. Check it out. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Mimi. And look, you can follow me at Keeping It Real with Mimi on all social media platforms. And you got to get that poppy. Yeah, hey, you know what? Go to uh, poppiesbourbon.com and you can find the locations. I love y'all. Hello, y'all. I hope you enjoyed your human experience. Uh, I'm glad you tapped in with us. I love your life. 
follow me on Instagram. It's Autobots and everywhere else. Autobots. It's O T T O B O T S. And uh, you did. I nigga had an usher cadence. That was the Autobots cadence, but okay. <laughs> Uh, Uncle Ty Comedy, Facebook, IG, Twitter. Um, check the album out. Call them out there, man. Open up your Spotify, your um, Apple Music, whatever, man, and just uh, say I'm out there, man. Talk to the app. Say I'm out there. My album's coming up. It's Taco Tuesday. Get you some tacos, man. Get your El Pastor with the extra drip. Whatever you got to do, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, you know it. So um, get out there, man. Shout out to the I'm Out There Nation. I know you out there. Taco Tuesday. Yeah, Taco Tuesday. Yeah. Taco Tuesday. Uh, in Cincinnati Straits dot com is up. We got the t-shirts that's celebrating the history of our music going back 400 years. Uh, the posters are up, and also yeah, all that good shit is on Dewan B on YouTube. Uh, the readings on deck, all that shit going good. Breakthrough AS dot org. Just go to my YouTube, go to my Instagram, all that shit on Linktree. Goddamn it! And yeah, support Craig Facts. We we love y'all for real, for real. Hey man, appreciate y'all. That's been this episode of Craig Facts. It's too hot in this motherfucker. All your stuff is gonna come.